Hey guys, happy Valentine's week and I am so excited to bring you guys some love readings to celebrate this extra special week of love and romance with St. Valentine's Day. It's such an amazing holiday and this reading is going to be extra special. We're talking about your future spouse and getting a lot of details about them as well as some channeled messages from them and just finding out all about their energy, their thoughts towards you, what their relationship is going to be like, what they're going to be like and all of it. So I really can't wait to get into it and see what spirit has to say about your person and tune into their higher self. So with that being said, today we have a beautiful selection of donuts, heart-shaped donuts, perfect for Valentine's Day or Valentine's week, maybe breakfast in bed or something like that. They are so cute and adorable. So if one is already calling your name and you feel drawn to a certain pile, you can skip ahead to that pile at any point, but I am going to show you guys the numbers of each of the piles and show you up close as well. So we have pile number one, then we have pile number two, number three, and finally number four. So I'm going to show you up close to this is pile number one, probably vanilla flavored. And there's some beautiful pink drizzle for Valentine's Day. Then we have pile number two. This one looks like it might be blueberry flavored. It looks super good. A lovely pastel color with some chocolate on top. Then we have pile number three, and this one is so perfect for Valentine's Day. I love the pink color, and there's even a little mini cake on top. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Miniature on a miniature. And finally, pile number four. This one is probably lemon flavored. It has a little mini donut on top. So, so cute. So yeah, and an ice cream cone too. So maybe you guys need more time to decide if you need to rewind, pause, do whatever you need to do to make your mind up, but we are going to go ahead and jump into pile one. Hey, pile one. So if you guys picked this vanilla cupcake, this is going to be your reading. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's this little blueberry right there and some piped um, frosting in the shape of a flower. So it looks so good. Then some sprinkles and a little drizzle of some maybe strawberry flavor. It looks so good. I would be so happy if someone got me this on Valentine's Day, maybe breakfast in bed or something. Just looks delicious. So let's get into your tarot, guys. So you pulled three of cups, six of wands, eight of wands, temperance, six of cups, and the wheel of fortune. So I feel like for you guys, this relationship might come later in life. It may come after you guys have been through some stuff, or maybe, you know, it could come when you're younger, but it feels like you guys have been through something with temperance. I feel like there's a little bit of time going into this. There's some experiences, especially with the wheel of fortune. You know, the thing about the wheel is in a Ferris wheel, like is shown on here is you start at the bottom, right? You can't load onto the Ferris wheel at the top. You have to load on at the bottom and then it slowly works its way up. And it feels like by the time you guys get into this relationship, you guys have been through some stuff or you may have even been single for a while and had maybe bad relationships. Maybe with the three of cups, some of y'all were even cheated on or something like that. And by the time you meet this person, you are ready. A lot of you guys have done the work and worked on yourself. And so it's like you're fully ready to make this relationship happen. You know, you are open to it. You are not like a child anymore who's pretending to be ready or who has a lot of trauma to work through or just rushing in. You are ready for that mature relationship. And I feel like with the six of cups, y'all might have kids right away. You guys might start a family right away, or it may be one of those relationships where you just know, like, you know, sometimes I feel like older people, they don't waste as much time. Like you, you know, I feel like with young people, sometimes they'll be like, we were, oh, we've been together for 10 years but we're just kind of playing it by ear but like older people I feel like they they know the value of time and a lot of times like when they fall in love they want to get married quick they want to get you know try to have kids even you know if they're still in that age range um fast like there's no wasting time and it feels like that for you guys like I feel like when this person comes in, it's going to be like, boom, boom, boom. It's going to be fast. There's not going to be this like 
dawdling kind of energy, they may find you through social media or you guys might have some kind of a public platform with the six of wands. Um, or it could be even swiping like on Tinder or online dating or something. But I feel like, you know, you have some respect in the community or in like the public sphere somehow. And they are very like, they come to you with a lot of respect is what I'm getting. Like it feels like they come correct. They're not coming in being like, who is this? Oh, I don't really care. They're like, oh, okay, I got the date with them. Awesome. Because it's like, I feel like they're aware of you somehow before you guys actually meet or before they reach out. Like maybe you have an Instagram and they followed you for a while and finally they slide into your DMs and ask, you know, like ask you out. But it doesn't feel like it's just like they don't know you or they don't respect because I'm just keep getting a lot of respect here, a lot of admiration for you that um, they know that it's like, they know that they have to come correct. They know that they have to act right with you and they have no problem with that. It feels like they bring a lot of respect in and um, they probably are going to be that type that, you know, if you are a feminine and they're a masculine, they're pulling out your chair. They're opening doors for you. They are, of course, paying for the check and, you know, taking you to nice places. And it just feels like they have a lot of manners and decorum, which I really love to see. Like they're not asking you out on janky dates or acting strange or being non-committal or not returning texts it feels like they know how to behave and they know how to act i feel like with the eight of wands you guys are really busy when they come in and that's another thing that makes them like need to act right because it's like if if they're not acting right you have a lot of things on your plate so they kind of know that you're not the easiest to get a hold of and your your schedule seems busy so it's kind of like okay, like if I don't act right on this date, they're going to just next me and they're going to have a million other options. So I feel like you're going to be busy at that time in your life. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of obligations and stuff. Now I spent so long making up these songs for you guys. They're all really intense love songs. So we're going to find out the vibe for you guys about what love song this is for pile one. What love song are they going to be experiencing in their relationship spirit? Okay, so we got So Hot You're Hurting My Feelings by Caroline Polachek. Oh, love that song. This is my other little coffee mug. Isn't it so cute? I love their coffee mugs. Ivy, Taylor Swift. Okay, wow. That's intense. Love that for you guys. We got There Is A Light That Never Goes Out by The Smiths. Okay, I'm feeling like maybe they're into those kinds of bands. Like maybe they're into like alternative music. Teenage Dream by Katy Perry. Okay. And finally, Jealous Chromeo. Okay. I am kind of getting that vibe. Like I feel like they're not overly jealous. They're not like a crazy person, but it's like, they know how valuable and special you are. And they know that other people want to be with you. And it's like, they're going to be kind of monitoring. Like I feel like on your social media, like who's in your DM, not obviously they don't know who's in your DMs, but you know, sometimes you can kind of tell when like two people are going back and forth commenting. Like if you're lurking hard enough, you can be like, Hmm, that's weird. That guy always comments on her photos or like, you know, that's always a top comment. And who is this person? Why are they like, I feel like that's what they would be doing, you know? And it's like, they're, they're, they, it's, they're coming in so decisive. There's no ambiguity here. There's no like, oh, I kind of like them, but you know, there's, I don't like this part. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of single, but I guess they're nice. It's like, they know what they want and they're going for it. They are coming in hot, coming in strong. I feel like they find you very attractive, but I also feel like you find them very attractive. I feel like you guys are so drawn to them with so hot. You're hurting my feelings, which I love that song, um, by Caroline Polachek. She's awesome. But yeah, I feel like you, they are just attractive to other people as well. Like this is someone who's good looking, someone that when you bring them around, people are like, oh dang, like that person looks really good. Um, yeah, I feel like with the Smiths, they may have some kind of interest in like alternative music or that may be their type of like music that they listen to is like bands and, you know, maybe older bands too, or, um, 
you know we have a lot of like pop here but maybe they are more into like alternative rock or indie rock or something like that i feel like they kind of have a cool attitude to them like maybe when they were like again i get that both of you guys have lived your lives and i feel like maybe back in their younger days you know they were in like a scene that was like an edgy scene or something and maybe they dated around because i do feel like they're they're a little bit sexy like i feel like they probably had a lot of people interested in them a lot of other women or something and with the three of cups that can definitely kind of indicate that it's kind of like they have their own status also with the six of cups or excuse me six of wands where they other people have noticed them as well you know what i mean it's not just like you're the only star and then they look really bad and um and people are like huh they're an odd couple it's like oh wow they're such a hot couple they look really good together um so for me ivy like to me that song is all about you know, just like love growing over someone and just, I think in the song she says, um, your ivy grows and now I'm covered. So it's like, you know, love that just kind of slowly sets in and then you're like, oh my God, I'm in love with this person. And it's almost like you can't extricate yourself from them because you guys have this life that's just grown together so strongly. And I feel like that's what's going to happen. Although I feel like you're kind of the unsuspecting house in this situation and they're the ivy growing over you because it feels like they they know exactly what they want out of you. Um, and then Teenage Dream to me, that song is just like, so much fun like i feel like in the video they're like you know they're running on the beach and in the song she says like make a fort out of pillows in a hotel room something like that i mean i know it rhymes it doesn't it's not just that lyric but um it feels like you guys are going to go on adventures together you guys are going to have fun together let me get one more song because i love this way of reading let me see so happy i could die by lady gaga wow so you are going to be so happy with them Oh my gosh. Wow. I'm kind of getting chills. Like, I feel like also for a lot of you guys, this, this child is coming through. Like you guys are going to create a family together. And I feel like you guys are going to be, cause I think it's actually more romantic sometimes. I mean, everyone has different paths. So sometimes someone can meet the love of their life really young. And I think that's beautiful when you just spend your whole life together. So I'm not picking faves or anything, but I also think there's something to be said for like when two people are older and they know exactly what they want and they're not playing games and they both experienced life and like lived everything. And then they find each other. I think there's something really beautiful about that. So, you know, it's two sides of the same coin and I think young love is also so incredible, but I just get the vibe that like you guys are very complete when you come together. You know what I mean? You're not like young and inexperienced and don't know what's going on and kind of like, I think this person is right for me. Like, it's like you're both so conscious and clear. And that's why I think it moves really fast. I think that once you guys come together, you're like, this is exactly what I want. I don't need to date around anymore. I don't need to try anyone else. I know I want this person. So we got the Desert Prince, Survival, False Promises, Lady of the Mirror, Reflection, Non-Judgment. I feel like you know, with survival false promises, both of you guys have been through some hardship. And honestly, I keep getting your person back in the day may have been a bit of a player or a bit of like a non-perfect person. Like it feels like maybe in relationships in their past, they hadn't been acting fully out of integrity, but I truly do. And I'm not BSing y'all know I'm very blunt with you guys. So I would tell you the truth. If I was like, he's still in that energy, but it's changing. He's going to grow. No, he's, it feels like this person has really grown out of it. And in fact, I feel like they got some karmic consequences that they really learned from and put them on this path to meeting you. Like, it feels like some of the stuff they did, it wasn't even like, they were never malicious. It was never like, they were like, ha ha, I'm going to do this in a nasty energy. It feels like they were kind of careless and just kind of young and wild and free. And like, because they were so attractive, um, that like they would end up being a heartbreaker, you know, not in intending, you know, those people that kind of like, they just have a really charming personality and they might be flirting with people and not even meaning to like, they'll just be like, Hey, how are you? It's so good to see you. And, and you know, they don't realize that like, because they're also very physically attractive, that people are kind of falling in love left and right. And then, you know, sometimes that person can honestly get themselves into like karmic trouble because, you know, they're breaking everyone's hearts, even if they don't mean to. And I feel like that's what happened with your person. It feels like they broke some hearts and then did a lot of like 
almost like a retreat maybe that was y'all as well because both of you guys honestly there's a lot of mirrored energy here but in very different ways and i'm gonna get into specifics about them as well we have cards for that i was up late making little notes so we got the whole thing to pull from but yeah i feel like this person you know they have a lot of qualities that are similar to you or that they've also grown through both of you guys have done a lot of growing a lot of like dark night of the soul energy and now you've come through very wise and you both bring this wisdom but it's funny i don't i don't know if you guys knew each other in past lives i'm getting more no you did not it feels like both of you guys have maybe leveled up shed karma from past lives and now this beautiful relationship is able to come through it doesn't feel like a karmic relationship or a past life relationship where it's just like Oh, this because sometimes I think past life relationships is like, oh my God, this person again. You know, it's not necessarily sometimes it's a beautiful thing, but sometimes it's like something you were supposed to learn in a past life and then that person keeps coming back. And I feel like this is just so positive. Maybe you guys knew each other. I don't know. It's a general reading. So some of you guys might have, but it just feels like a very fresh relationship. It feels like both of you guys kind of made your mistakes in the past and now you're having things with a fresh slate, fresh start, like no drama, no BS, no baggage that you're taking into it. So I feel like also look at this guy, as I said, attractive. So both the guy and the girl on here are very attractive. And that's a fairy on the other card. Maybe some of you guys have like fairy energy because I feel like there's like a kind of masculine feminine dichotomy going on. So there may be someone who's very in their masculine and then very in their feminine. Um, of course nip not everyone it's a general reading but like you can see she just like has fairy energy and then he seems like he has kind of masculine heartbreaker energy and he's got a six pack and i feel like your person is probably going to be physically fit as well that's coming through so we got music healing and light wow so you guys might connect to each other through music i feel like a lot of you guys do have a spiritual connection with this person maybe you have met them on the astral plane because it feels like y'all are not brand new to each other but again i don't sense past lives so it's more along the lines of you know each other on the astral plane probably um and so maybe they are sending you songs and music um because I, I and i keep getting the urge to pull another song thing so i hope you don't hear that dog you guys it's so annoying but um but some of you guys said you can't hear it so i'm just gonna keep going but i feel like for you guys um it's like you have this musical connection. I keep getting the urge to pull more music cards because I think this is something that is a major part of your relationship where the, you guys kind of send each other messages and connect in that way. And the musical connection you guys have is super, super strong. Um, and by the time, like I mentioned, by the time you guys come into each other, you've already healed a lot. You've already done a lot of the work that you needed to do to meet each other in this lifetime. You guys are both bringing in a lot of light in very different ways. It feels like your person is very wise, very um, strong energy, kind of earthy energy. And then you're coming in with more of a like very light, airy or watery energy. Um, they feel very grounded. They feel very down to earth. So yeah, let's get more cards. So we got courage protection life purpose and empowerment i feel like by the time they come in you're going to be very aligned with your purpose you guys are going to be doing something with your career like i said there's going to be a certain level of success you have like there's stability all around when they come in and i feel like this person is very brave and courageous and protective of you and i think that's something a lot of you guys want like it's like you might have felt very unsafe in this world and when they come in it's like okay i can kind of relax because again i get that this person is physically pretty strong so i feel like they look out for you and it's like they they will be your protector and that may have been something you guys have been wanting for a really long time. I feel like both of you guys are aligned with your life purpose. It feels like both of you have some level of money or finances and both of you guys can kind of meet each other um, where you're at. Like neither one is just in dysfunctional energy in some area of their life. Both of you guys have kind of figured out the game of life and you're meeting in a place of like really having the choice. Like both of you guys could choose to do whatever you want. You could choose to be single. You're not in this relationship for the wrong reasons. It's truly a choice. I wanna get more cards as well. Oh, not these. Oh. 
these. Okay, so I made a lot of cards. Let's get some features for this person. Oh my God, Rich. <laughs> That's a good one to come out off the top. Like I was just saying, you guys are both financially stable um, from a different part of the country or world. Okay, interesting. Well known. Okay, so that's coming through really strong with the six of wands. Funny. Good cook. Okay. Spirit, can you describe pile one's future spouse? What are they going to be like? I love my glass too. I love all of these smart well educated okay good gift giver let's get one more skinny okay <laughs> okay i definitely think that they have kind of a lower body percentage fat but i don't know if they're skinny or like kind of muscular like that guy on the desert prince card um like it feels like they are someone who takes like watches their health like that's coming through and i feel like maybe you're in that same place or something i don't know it feels like both of you guys maybe for if this person is a public figure maybe they have to do it for their job maybe you do because again six of wands coming through and then well known um and so I don't know, like, I feel like obviously it's a general reading, but this person may be well known or some kind of a public figure or just known in your circle or in your group. Um, but yeah, I, I totally get the vibes of good cook, good gift giver, because it feels like they just like to take care of you. Like, I feel that they would be the kind of person that is like, have you eaten today? Or like, um, you know, like, if someone was to speak to you rudely in the store, they'd like come up and be like, excuse me, what did you just say to her? Or like, they're very protective of you. Um, like I said, when we got jealous, um, by Chromeo, like, which is another great song. Um, it feels like they're a little bit jealous. Like it's not even jealousy or it's just like protective. It's just like, they're very concern for your well-being and they don't want to see anyone mess with that they don't want to see you in a bad mood they don't want to see you going off with someone else either because they know they're taking such good care of you you know i feel like again this person feels like they were single for a while so when you come in they have all this energy to pour into you they have been wanting someone like you so when you come in they're like heck yes and they are willing to like put every effort in they're not going to be like oh so annoying i have to cook them breakfast in bed they're going to be like i can't believe i get to cook them breakfast in bed it's mother's day i'm so glad to celebrate them like they want to see you doing really good they want to see you really happy um and so they probably do give you a lot of gifts i am getting like i said i said i feel like you guys are empowered by the time they come in but i honestly i didn't mention it but i do feel that you're gonna they're gonna have a little bit more money than you maybe not a little bit maybe a lot bit maybe a lot more um but it feels like they have more money than you and um like but you come with your own money too, but they have more, if that makes sense. Um, and yeah, I feel like the conversations are just really on point. And maybe you guys have the same sense of humor because I just feel a happy vibe. Like it feels like you guys just get along and there's just a lot of positivity between you. Like you guys, I think are on the very same page about a lot of ideas or a lot of like maybe political beliefs, or if you have differences in political beliefs it's like small stuff it's not like some horrible insurmountable bridge between you it's like maybe this person is slightly off on this issue from this person but they kind of agree to disagree on it but they have mostly stuff in common and same with like your sense of humor and what you like to talk about i feel like they're a good conversationalist and very kind of educated and like worldly like I feel like they also might have traveled and we did get born in a different part of the country slash world so with born in a different part of the country depending on your country you know there can just be big cultural differences I've lived on both coasts in the U.S. and they're very different you know um and like I've traveled a lot and so the south is very different from like the Pacific Northwest and you know the Midwest is very different from like you know, Florida or wherever, like, I just feel like, um, there, you guys are from places where maybe you didn't grow up in like the same hometown, like a mile away from each other, you know, or you, uh, might, they might even be from a different country. They might even be, be from a totally different part of the world, but I just feel like you guys are going to have stuff in common, but also, um, 
they're going to like introduce you to different sides of yourself, different parts of culture, or just maybe different communication styles. So we also got these romance decks. So we got codependency, true love, honeymoon, express your love and retreat. So I feel like codependency, it's interesting that came out first because I feel like that's a past energy that a lot of you guys may have been in where maybe you had relationships where you were codependent. Maybe you had relationships where you know, there was, it was very hard for you to put up walls between yourself and your person. And if they were in a bad mood, you would take that on. Um, and I feel like maybe your person did that as well because it feels like they're a caretaker, but it's so different from you. Like, I feel like you're a caretaker emotionally and you're the type to like come up and like comfort someone and talk them through their problems. And they're kind of a caretaker in a different way where they they will like maybe give someone money or, you know, um, or try to physically provide for them in some way, or try to like give them a gift to cheer them up or take them out to cheer them up. Um, but it's like, you guys are doing it in different ways, but it's the same instinct of like, let me make you feel better. And some of you guys may have been in relationships where you did that too much. Maybe this is where this kind of heartbreaker energy is coming through with your person. Cause I feel like they might have gotten themselves into relationships like this, where they were just giving and giving and giving. And then they were like, I can't do this anymore. And sometimes that can lead to like a lot of anger on the other person's part. They're like, oh my God, it was perfect. And they just dumped me. And the other person was like, no, I actually gave you a lot of warnings. I was giving, giving, giving. And you know, I just had had enough. And so it feels like you guys have both moved out of this codependency energy and you guys are both very good at like managing your own emotions. That's what I love. And that's why I keep saying mature is because it feels like both of you guys, you're not coming into this, hoping the other person's going to fix you or save you or whatever. But I feel like you kind of both inadvertently, I don't want to say fix or save because I don't feel like either of you needs that, but it adds so much to your life that some would call it that, you know, someone would be like, oh my God, they saved you just because they bring you so much happiness and joy. And like, I feel like especially these kids or kid that they bring in is just like, oh my God, it just lights your life up and you're just so happy about it. Um, I feel like with honeymoon, you guys might travel a lot. That's come up a few times. I just see you guys like in different places. I'm seeing you guys like in the desert, like camping in like an Airstream or something trailer. And then, you know, staying in a nice place in like, I don't know, France or um, traveling through like um, Asia, you know, some of the beautiful bamboo forests or something like that. Like, I just feel like there's there's so many different things that you guys will end up doing and places you guys will explore. And this is what I love is I feel like this person expresses their love. Like it's almost like they were wanting to find someone that they could pour all this love into and they never really found someone on their level and they were kind of looking for you. But they, I think, had past relationships where they were like, is this it? Is this the person I've been looking for? And, um, and so it's like by the time you come in, they're so down to express their love. They're so wanting to show you guys how much they care about you. Um, and when you guys are together, I feel like it's like a retreat from the world. Like it's like nothing else matters. It's just the two of you. It's just you guys vibing. That's another song, just the two of us, Will Smith. And I almost put that in the card pile, but then I was like, no. Um, but yeah, that's, I'm hearing that. Like, it's like you're in your own little world and, um, you, when you guys are together, it's like nothing else matters. Nothing else is around. And I do feel like this is a true love. Like, cause sometimes I think with soulmates, we can have multiple soulmates. And so when that card comes out, I'm like, mm, could be, could be past life. Doesn't necessarily mean to me like, Oh, that's the be all end all. But this feels so positive that I feel like this is something that you guys might've had past soulmates or past relationships that were bad, but you know, they felt intense. They felt like a soulmate. This feels like what people really mean when they say soulmate, like a, a love of a lifetime. So we also got life purpose and connection. So again, this theme of music, and this is so the vibe that I can see for you guys. Like it looks like they're traveling, they're on a beach, they're drinking champagne or mimosas or something and just vibing together. And I feel like that's what you guys are. Like, that's why I said, you know, honeymoon traveling and lost in your own world. Like, I feel like you guys would just go book an Airbnb and just 
spend the whole weekend together and you guys like to do like I said you have a lot of the same interests or vibes so you guys like to do the same stuff so it's like you guys might go hiking together or if you guys are into art you'll go hit up the art museums in the area you know but it's like whatever your interests are your person is going to share that and be very aligned with it and I feel like your life purposes while they're not the same and I don't feel like you guys are in the same field I'm getting that strongly there's a similar purpose at play so maybe like they're a musician and they give hope to people and then you work with a charity and you give hope to people in that way you know what I mean um they help people with their songs but you help people with like aid and money that you give them you know what I mean or maybe um you're very creative and you're an architect and so you make your money through constructing um you know buildings that are like artistic and beautiful and they are a fashion designer or something you know what I mean like um so it's like it doesn't feel like it's the same but it feels like you guys use like have a similar purpose and meaning and and point of like your life that your mission is is similar and very aligned and you guys can help each other with that I feel like for some of you guys your person may have more money and they might help you with your mission by giving you some money on it you know sometimes like it's like oh a person has a charity and it's not doing that well and then someone comes in and gives them a lot of money and they can do amazing stuff with the charity like something like that so we got a lot of cards for you guys and we got more um, cards that I made. So we got rescue, ride the wave, details, details, and into the unknown. So it feels like this is just such a brand new start for you guys. Like I feel like you guys are going to have no idea what to expect with this person. They probably, I feel like they're kind of low key. So when you meet them, you might not know exactly how much money they have or exactly how important their position is. They might be like, oh yeah, I just kind of do some stuff. Um, and I feel like that's a protection they've had for a lot of people because maybe people did try to use them or again I just keep getting this vibe that they were very high in demand so it feels like a lot of people wanted to be close to them and then it's like they realize how trustworthy and amazing you guys are and they start letting down their guard and being like oh okay I can trust this person and I feel like again a lot of travel themes coming through with ride the wave and rescue this person might even surf or something because I keep getting outdoorsy vibes like hiking physical activities outside surfing or um or you know just like I feel like again with these hobbies that like you guys will share like both of you guys are adventurous too that's another thing both of you guys like to explore you like to push kind of your boundaries and I think you guys that's why you guys like travel so much is you probably like to go to like far-flung places that are totally outside of your comfort zone like where everyone else might want to just stay on the beach and have it be super comfortable and just lounge around in the hotel room it feels like both of you guys are like let's book a safari or let's um let's go climb a mountain you know somewhere like uh, so, I don't know some huge mountain somewhere let's go skiing and it, it just feels like it's really exciting and you guys are always wanting to explore and broaden your horizons um, and I feel like again this person's really smart with details details so let's get another card okay so these are messages channeled messages from your person let's see what they want to tell you right now what do they want pile one to know your body is incredible <laughs> oh my gosh okay life with you is so much fun and that's what I was saying you guys have fun together oh my gosh some of these fell to the bottom we want we want the accurate messages for pile one spirit okay two came out you're my best friends oh I want to protect you what did I tell you guys I love being playful with you. Yeah, you guys laugh a lot. You have fun together. I feel like this person likes that you're very lighthearted. I knew you in a past life. Okay, so maybe you guys did know each other in a past life. Maybe I'm wrong, but it feels like it, it doesn't have any heavy karmic energy to me. So I don't know. Maybe it was a good relationship in a past life. So we got being with you feels fresh and new. Like I said, <laughs> yeah, it feels like to me it feels very fresh it feels very like you guys don't know each other but maybe you did and it was like quick passing kind of a thing and I want to travel the world with you oh my god I couldn't make it up I promise all these are like different so I didn't make these for like you guys or anything like that you can see there's a lot of cards in there um 
But yeah, so I feel like you guys will travel together. You guys just seem like you have a blast and there's a lot of laughter. There's a lot of fun. It's, I'm, I'm hearing that um, Lady Gaga song, so happy I could die again. Like, I just feel like it's happy. It's playful. It's fun. It's engaging. It's um, enjoyable. Like, life is just an exciting, fun blast. It's not like a boring relationship or, you know, I feel like just inevitably sometimes relationships become stagnant or people just become bogged down with like, oh, I have to work or I have to do all these dishes or I have to do the laundry. Maybe because both of you guys seem like you have some money, you can hire people to do that. I don't know, but it just doesn't feel like a relationship that's bogged down by those issues. It just feels like fun on fun, stacked with fun and then more fun and then exploration and and then enjoying your child and it just seems like the good life you know so let's get some tarot final cards page of cups page of swords four of cups and the chariot wow so page cards are like the youngest court cards and again there's so much enthusiasm with both of you I feel like both of you guys have an energy that's kind of talkative curious explorative I keep saying explorer because that's what it feels like you guys like to do like I feel that you guys are that person that you know is like hey let's go to this museum or like oh my god there's a fair opening in town I can't wait to go like there's just so much positivity and like enthusiasm you guys bring to things and I feel that your person shares that and this is why you guys are happy to be with each other because I feel like some of you guys have been with people where it's like you're like hey did you hear like the, the state fair just opened, let's go. And the person is like, okay, who cares? Like we went last year, that's not interesting to me. Or, you know, you're like, okay, let's plan this trip. I wanna, there's a waterfall. I really wanna go. It's gonna be so cool. And you know, there's someone that you dated who's like, oh, I just don't feel like this is just boring to me. And there was always like people tamping down on your enthusiasm and kind of making you feel weird that you were so eager and enthusiastic and so full of life. People that have actually made you feel bad about that, which is crazy because who could feel bad about this? Like I feel like so many people are drawn to y'all because of this, but maybe that's where it attracted jealousy even from your partners where people tried to make you feel bad about um about being so open and fun and like do you ever calm down or like oh you're always talking you're always chattering i mean the page of swords can be someone that like talks a lot um but i feel like you guys you know it's coupled with the page of cups so you guys are very um actually very sensitive very loving you want to make people feel good you want to bring them happiness and joy and emotional fulfillment and I feel like that's what you guys have in common is you guys are just both coming in with a level of happiness and contentment and um, like you you're both good-hearted you know what I mean you're neither one of you feels energetically jaded and like you're just kind of like oh, okay when when is this I guess we can go to the museum. It's just so boring. You guys are both that type of person that'll be like, oh my God, I love that painting. It's amazing. And I can't wait to see this. And this food tastes so good. And some of you guys have been with partners that would probably be like the opposite and be like, oh, this food is horrible. I just hate this place. Kind of like downers. And now you're with someone who's like an upper, who's very positive. And when they come in, they're going to come in strong with the chariot. So like I said, they're going to know what they want and get after it. They're not going to wait around and be like, like, I'm not sure. I don't know about this person. Well, I kind of like them, but I don't know. It's like when you know, you know, and they know, and they've been looking for you. And I feel like with the four of cups, you guys have connected in the astral realm and have been thinking of each other a lot and kind of connecting psychically in, um, in that world like you guys have been spending time with each other meditating on each other even if you didn't know what the heck you were doing you guys know each other on the astral realm let me get some astro dice as well for pile one what kind of astrology signs or vibes is this person going to have so we got taurus fourth house and venus so taurus and venus are related um venus is the ruler of taurus and then the fourth house relates to cancer 
Wow. And you guys definitely both have Venus and Cancer energy. So Cancer is the mom of the Zodiac and rule fourth house is like family. And this is what I keep getting is a lot of y'all are going to start a family with this person. So if you don't want kids, you know, maybe get, get on some birth control or something. I don't know. Cause I just keep getting kids for a lot of you guys with this situation. And I think for a lot of you guys, that's going to bring you so much happiness. Like it feels like there's a unit taking place. There's a unit, you know, forming. And I feel like, yeah, with cancer, you know, that is all about, or the fourth house, that's all about family and loving on each other. And cancer is also like a caretaker energy. Cancers love to cook. They love to kind of look after someone and mother them. And I feel like both of you guys do that to each other. Both of you guys love to look after the other. And both of you guys are that person in the relationship that will be like, um, did you eat this morning? Or like, oh, how was your workout? Or like, how's work going? Or like, hey, by the way, open your bag. I left you a surprise. And they, you know, left you like, I don't know, some chocolate or something. Or, you know, they suddenly randomly have flowers delivered or have lunch delivered. And you're like, oh my God, you're so thoughtful. You didn't need to do this. Like, I just feel like they're very loving. And there's a lot of love here with Venus energy coming in so strong. They might be a Taurus. They could be a Cancer. We could also see Libra here with, um, with Venus, but I feel like, yeah, they, they're very loving. They're very demonstrative of their love. And also Venus can be wealth energy. So this person, you know, and Taurus is all about the good things in life. It's Venus energy, but manifested in the physical. So not just like the airy Libra kind of love, but like the physical love. So sexual attraction and also like good food good um surroundings like a beautiful house and you know both of these will also fourth house relates to housing so does cancer so i feel like y'all are gonna have a really nice house or something i feel like you guys must be living in a really nice place I feel like I'm just getting luxury vibes for you guys wherever you go. Like again, with the traveling a lot, I feel like y'all will be staying in some nice places. Like you're not going to be staying at the Motel 6. You're going to be staying at the Four Seasons. And I feel like that also goes with your house. Like your house is going to be well decorated. Both of you guys like living in a nice place and both of you guys see the beauty of that. Like, because sometimes, you know, one, one side, like I said, you guys are so aligned and sometimes in a relationship, one person will be like, oh, I just don't get the point of this or why do we have to spend so much money on a rug or why do we have to you know pay so much to have like the wallpaper redone I mean it was fine before and I feel like both of you guys are just like on the same page completely like your person gets it and they're like oh absolutely like yeah and if you have to pay more to get the right um wallpaper like please just don't even worry about it go ahead and get whatever you want like they're artistic like you and they also want to see you so happy that they are just more than happy to shell out so i want to get one final music card since you guys are just having music come through so strong spirit tell us more about this relationship the vibe any final songs oh i will the beatles oh my gosh infinite arms band of forces i want to be yours arctic monkeys oh my goodness and Beyond Love, Beach House. Oh my gosh. I said one more song, but we got five because we also got Love at First Sight, Kylie Minogue. So wow. These are such beautiful songs, you guys. Um, so I Want to Be Yours, if you guys know that song, Arctic Monkeys. I'm sure a lot of people do know it. You know, that is such a deep song about wanting to just... It's from a poem. I forget the name of whoever wrote that poem. But it's like... Um, it's like, I want to be your tea kettle and all this stuff that you need all the time. Like whatever you need, I want to be that, you know? And I feel like that's how your person feels like they're wanting to be around you in any proximity they can. Um, Infinite Arms, Band of Horses is such a sweet song that talks about deep, like just such a deep love song in my opinion. Like the vibe is just so deep and loving. And then we have, speaking of deep love, Beyond Love by Beach House, which is another song that just is the vibe of like such a deep connection. And then I Will, The Beatles is kind of promising to like take care of someone and just you know, whatever you need, I will do it and I'll be there. And it's such a loving song and love at first sight, Kylie. I don't need to explain that. That one's all about, you know, and like I said, when you, when they see you or when they um, meet you, they're going to come in strong. It's going to be on like Donkey Kong. They are going to come in with chariot energy coming correct and no 
bones about it. You're not going to have to guess like, I don't know if they like me. They're kind of, well, they didn't text back, but then they said they were busy. So maybe no, they're going to like make you a major priority. But wow. I mean, these final songs, like, oh my God, y'all are going to have this love of a lifetime. I'm so blown away by the energy here. So wow. Lucky, lucky pile ones. I, I'm kind of like wondering what the other piles are going to be like if it was so good in, in this pile, but you guys have a lot to look forward to. So what a beautiful energy you guys i'm so happy for you guys so i really hope it resonated let me know in the comments if it did i love hearing from you guys so let me know and if you want to check out my patreon i have um a bunch of extra readings over there and if you want to book a private reading with me i'm doing them right now so you can click the link in my bio for that and yeah i'll be back soon here for another reading sending you guys lots of love and light have an awesome valentine's week guys take care bye Hey pile two, so if you guys pick this blueberry donut, this is going to be your reading. So you can see there are these little chocolate details on top. They look so good. It looks like a little chocolate bar for like a mouse or a dollhouse doll. It's just so cute. And then there's these snowflake sprinkles on top as well as a blueberry drizzle. So it just looks so perfect for a winter morning, maybe a drab February morning. Someone can bring you that in bed. It would be so perfect but anyway let's get into your card so we got the empress nine of pentacles eight of pentacles seven of swords three of swords reversed and the nine of cups so i feel like for some of you guys you might have suffered from a past heartbreak with the three of swords reversed and that's something that you've moved past by the time they come in and same with them like i feel like they may have been hurt in the past um there may have been a lot of deception with the seven of swords it may be, have been someone who had a really judgmental partner and i feel like both of you guys have done a lot of work on yourselves and tried to move past this a lot and move into a place of really Really putting the work in I'm feeling my heart literally hurt right now so yeah it feels like there was heartbreak it feels like there was a lot of pain in the past and probably people who lied and stuff and I feel like by the time you find your person it's like you've been looking for them for so long you know you've been looking for them everywhere and when they come in there's such a relief it's almost like with the empress you might have already built up some wealth and some financial stability but you're looking for that love you're looking for that knight of cups to come in and emotionally fill your cup up and that's what they're gonna do i feel like they bring a lot of joy to your life it's almost like i'm feeling like they might loosen you up a little some of you guys might be kind of you know not the type to like just burst out laughing in the middle of the day and they bring that into you like i feel like they might be a little silly or goofy even or maybe a little like young energy I don't want to say childish but kind of like I feel like they're the type to just like watch a funny movie or laugh in the middle of the day and um for you know for no reason not that it's weird to laugh in the middle of the day but I guess laugh in the middle of a sentence that's maybe not the most appropriate or something like that it just feels like there's a lot of joy coming through and again I feel like a lot of you guys you've been suffering you've been through hardship and so this kind of bright light energy that comes in it just feels so positive and it feels like something you know like in this card you can see they're walking in shadow and then the light is breaking through and shining directly on them and that's kind of what this person does maybe they have a fire energy or possibly a leo energy because it just feels like there's a very bright light to them it feels like when they come in they're coming in to bring happiness and excitement into your life Life. so let's get some music for you guys for pile two we want to get some musical songs for pile two it took me forever to make these and there's a ton of love songs on here so what's the love song for pile two spirit what's the love song so we got oh we got oh, it's a bad word i don't want to say it but you know ape by beyonce and jay-z so i'm not gonna say the full word but okay you get the vibe then we got Teenage Dream, Katy Perry. What is the song for Pile 2's person? What is the song for Pile 2's person? Style, Taylor Swift. Okay. We got Moondance, Van Morrison. Blue Ain't Your Color by Keith Urban. Oh my gosh. And that's so funny because you guys are Pile 2 and it's blue. And Delicate by Taylor Swift. Let me get one more 
Harvest Moon, Neil Young. Wow. So yeah, there's a lot of soulful, uh, soulfulness to these, some of these songs I feel with Moondance Van Morrison and Harvest Moon by Neil Young. So it's like, they might be a bit of an old soul or something, or I feel like they might listen to like classic rock or maybe they, I am just seeing like a bonfire on a beach for some reason. Maybe they are really into that. Maybe that's like their idea of a perfect Friday night is like, you know, playing the guitar next to you on the beach on a Friday night. Like it just seems like, um, you know, there's like a chillness to this person. There's a relaxation. And I feel like they also might love stuff that they listened to growing up kind of a thing. Like it feels like, you know, they are very attached to certain bands or certain memories from their past. And they kind of bring that to you. And it's like, they were looking for someone to kind of fit that vibe with. I feel both of you guys are relaxed. You're not a fancy type of person, even though you have money. Like I feel like with the Empress and the nine of pentacles, you guys do have financial success, but it's almost like I'm getting vibes of like Malibu versus Beverly Hills. If you know LA, like it's like, it's more relaxed. It's not like someone dressed up to the nines dripping in gold. It's more along the lines of someone wearing like a flannel and, um, you know, jeans on the beach. And maybe they do have a lot of money, but you wouldn't necessarily be able to tell, you know what I mean? Like they just seem a lot more low key. And I feel like both of you guys, um, like enjoy that about each other. It feels like you can let your guard down with them. It doesn't feel like you have to pretend to be something else. And I feel like that's what you really love about them is that they see you for who you are and they really love that. Um, and I feel like again, with blue ancient color by Keith Urban, that's a song that's all about, you know, um, trying to cheer up this woman that's been cheated on, I think is the vibe of that song. Um, summing up the lyrics really quick into that, but into one sentence, but I do think that yeah so there's this energy from past relationships that have been really difficult and really taken a toll on you and it's almost like this person wants to bring your you know your smile back and make you um, happy again and make you have a good time and it's funny because I just realized with Teenage Dream that video shows them like driving to the beach and then hanging out on the beach I don't know if they're having a bonfire or just a party but I feel like I keep getting beach vibes I keep getting relaxed person like I don't feel like this is a pretend person who wants things to be you know done to the nines like the most high-end steakhouse and expects you to like wear you know a ton of makeup or a ton of cologne or whatever you would dress up in you know it feels like they want you to be kind of relaxed too and it's almost like they introduce you to that they um they kind of pull you into their world a little bit like I feel like with style you know that song I know the beginning, it's like midnight, you pick me up, no headlights. And it's almost like she's going into his world. He's driving her, you know, wherever. Um, it always reminds me of a dark night, that song. And I keep seeing images of people at night. So I feel like maybe you guys will do a lot of dating at night, or maybe you guys will meet during the winter when um, the days are really short or something. And it just feels like night a lot. And it feels like they bring a lot of happiness and joy to like this dark night of the soul you've been going through and kind of absorb you into their world. Cause it feels like you're coming from your world and some of you guys are going to be very successful so it's like you're running around you have a nine to five you're very busy and then suddenly you're kind of pulled into their realm you know what I mean I feel like they have a lot of their um a lot of the things they love they're going to like introduce you to them and you're going to be like at first maybe you're like I don't really listen to Neil Young I don't know who that is and then it's like you listen to the songs and you're like, oh, this is really good, you know, or maybe like they have a friend group and maybe it looks like from the outside, like, oh, I don't know if I would hang with this person, but you meet them and you really love them. I feel like it's almost like this person has a kind of click, like they have a intense friend group that's like not the friendliest outsiders, to be honest, but like you're okay because you're coming in with your person. And again, at first there's a little hesitancy on your part of like, I don't know if I like this vibe, but then you become one of them and you absolutely love all of them. And you have like these super tight friends and like, it just is like your community, you know? So we also got the horse King assistance control and the sun dancers, joyful activity, celebration of life abundance. I feel like this person is kind of teaching you how to laugh. It's like they're putting a smile on your face. They're bringing a lot of happiness and excitement to your life. You know, this song, which I can't say, but you know, 
I didn't realize when I was writing it out that it had a bad word in it, but you know, Ape mm, by Beyonce and Jay-Z, um, like that song to me, especially the video, it's just so much fun. You know, they're just running around the Louvre and just, it's just like a, a blast, you know? And I feel like that's kind of the vibe with you guys is like, if you go traveling and stuff, you guys aren't that couple that would just stay inside and eat at the restaurant and lay in bed all day. You would be that couple that's like going out and I'm hearing spelunking. So I know that's like exploring caves. That seems a little intense, but maybe you guys would be into that or maybe rock climbing or maybe, um, you know, seeing a band or something like it just seems like you guys are both explorers. You both like to have fun and you guys both kind of like to push your boundaries a little bit, you know? Um, and so it's like you have the, you'll have the money too. You'll have some financial stability, it feels. And this card talks about abundance to be able to do those things, to be able to explore and live your life kind of how you want to on your own terms. Um, so yeah, like I mentioned, this is like a Malibu vibe, not Beverly Hills, but there does seem to be some money here. So even though you guys might not be dressed in like a four piece suit or they might be dress not dressed that way and you might not be in a ball gown, it feels like you guys are very comfortable with your life and your lifestyle and you just form and build this little life for yourself. So we also got purity, protection, and shine from within. So some of you guys, we got a lot of cards that are reminding me of like the sun. And maybe this person is a Leo. It feels like also Leo can relate to kind of children. The fifth house can relate to children. So maybe you guys... It, and I keep wanting to say childish, but not in a bad way, more along the lines of like, they're that person that would still listen to their favorite band from high school or still listens or still hangs out with the same crew from high school or still is really close to their mom or still um, like collects, you know, a certain thing that they started collecting when they were a kid. Like, it just feels like they're still very in touch with their inner child, still very joyful, still very excitable. And I feel like, you know, there's a lot of purity in this relationship. There's a lot of enthusiasm that this person still has. And I feel like when they get to do like their favorite thing or when, when they get to like go explore with you, it's like their face lights up. They're so excited. They're so joyful. They're so happy about this. Um, and, you know, I feel like that for you gives you a feeling of kind of spiritual protection because it's like, you know, that they would go to bat for you and that they, ha they also like just just the kind of love you guys are surrounded with and this little bubble you have, this little team. Like I said, they also might have like a little click and I feel like maybe some of their friends would also give you protection. Maybe they have a friend group that like other people would be intimidated by or something. And it's like, oh, like, well, I can't make it, but Ben is going to make sure you get home safe or, you know, um, well, you know, I'm actually like, I have to work late tonight, but like go hang out with Cecilia and she'll take care of you. Like, it just seems like they're friends and they're, they have like a tribe around them. And I feel like you're welcomed into that tribe when you join up with them. I also feel like this person might have quite a lot of status in their group. Maybe their friend group just really respects them. And I feel like it's like they can kind of be, they're kind of like king bee, queen bee. Like they're the ones calling the shots for a lot of this stuff. So their friend group might be kind of like closed off to new people. But when you come in, they're open to you because you're with them. And I, I'm just getting that this person might have some status. You can see this horse king has a crown right there. And so it feels like, um, maybe this is in their job or something. I don't know, but it feels like you get a new set of friends or a new tribe. It could be in their family as well um, because of being with them. So let's get some traits for your person. I listed a bunch of traits and I love this cup, by the way, another beautiful scene. So we got witty. Yeah, this person is really funny. Goes to the gym a lot. Okay. I could definitely see that because they feel like um, outdoorsy, like I mentioned. Silent type, introvert. Okay. So they're definitely introverted. Light haired, good cook. Okay. We got from a different part of, I guess, the country or the world. Family oriented. Gets jealous easily. Okay, so, um, you know, I picked up on maybe they have been cheated on in the past, so that could explain that. Um, and I do feel like, though, you know, when t once you come in, like, 
they've worked through a lot of that. And I feel that, um, their focus is really on this family. They really love the family you guys create. I do feel like you guys might have kids together. And I feel like if the, if you guys do, this person will be a really playful kind of parent who's like constantly with your kids and constantly like joking around with them and laughing with them and, um, having a good time. Cause it's funny because I feel like they are an introvert type. Um, maybe not the loudest in the outside world but when it comes to the people that know them really well like I said this friend group or this family group or this inner circle they have which I think includes you obviously and your offspring any kids you would have um it feels like they're very funny like they're witty they're not loud but you know they do have a lot to say once they get to know you but at first they're a little standoffish and maybe when you first meet them they're not the biggest talker they're not the one who's going to like command the situation and run everything um but i feel like they show their love for you by doing stuff like cooking um they're also really creative and we did get the knight of cups so i feel like they're the type to like whip up a really elaborate breakfast they might not be the type to like clean it all up but they would like make you the most amazing breakfast or they would you know paint you something or repaint a room for you or they show you they they love you by like doing stuff for you and I definitely am not surprised we got goes to the gym a lot because I I feel like you guys are that couple that would go you know on vacation and go out and do something and like like I said spelunking or I don't know um just doing something like outside the norm something physical you know it feels like they're just like an adventure type personality so we also got answers reversed psychic abilities animals transformation and confidence so you guys might have a lot of animals together I feel like this person comes in once you guys have gone through this transformation of doing a lot of growth on yourself and working on building your confidence working on improving your psychic abilities and becoming more trusting of your intuition and all of that um and I feel like same for you with them. Like this is something where both of you guys have been going through a lot of deep soul growth about past relationships. A lot of you guys have been working on yourselves really deeply. So when they come in, both of you guys are, maybe you've been through therapy. Maybe you guys go to therapy together. Maybe you guys are constantly kind of checking in on the relationship and being like, okay, are we doing good? It feels like this is something you guys both put active work and effort into, which I really love. I feel like a lot of you guys maybe you'll have like premarital counseling or something. Um, but it feels that both of you guys, when you come together are at a certain level of status in your career, you have some confidence, you aren't rushing into it blindly being like, you know, this one side needs this from the other. It feels like both of you kind of come in as equals and both of you guys really respect the other. So we got keep an open mind, let go of control issues, attraction, deception and past life relationship so with deception coming in second time with the seven of swords don't get mad at me y'all because i know i'm gonna have some angry comments but i have to say that with two cards that indicate deception that this person may not be the most honest and i alluded to that earlier when i said they they might be a libra mars and might not be someone that's super comfortable being bluntly honest with you um but you know, it could be more than that. It could be something where they are deceptive. So it's something to pay attention to. I do feel like this person, I don't want to say they have a childish energy, but I feel like sometimes they have a hard time dealing with like really hard topics. And that's something you might have to work through with them. And we got keep an open mind and let go of control issues. So I feel like there's a lot of growth happening in this relationship on both sides. Both of you guys are really learning with each other. And this person is probably very attractive with attraction coming through. And we got some other cards that have to do with that. I can't remember, but I feel like you're very attracted to them. I feel like you guys are very drawn to them. This may be a past life relationship. It may be a relationship that came through in the past. And now you guys feel so drawn to each other because of that. But I feel like it's almost like you guys have this really deep understanding of each other that no one else can understand this person the way you can and vice versa. It feels like you know them in a way that no one else does and same with them and you see them for what they are and same with them for you. So I feel like both of you guys are really growing in this relationship and have done a lot of growth anyway. A lot of you guys have let go of control issues. A lot of you guys have worked on yourself. Um, 
so we got <laughs> the distorted feminine and the divine feminine. So like I said, I feel like you've done a lot of work on yourself and that came out first and then divine. So maybe you went from distorted feminine to divine feminine. I feel like one thing you're going to learn in this relationship is coming for my feminines, of course, not my masculines, coming more into your feminine energy. And if you're a masculine, you could be learning to help your partner move into feminine receptive energy. Maybe you're kind of that take charge person that always likes to give, give, give in relationships and you're learning to be more receptive and you're learning to accept. And maybe that's some some kind of dynamic that happens in the relationship where at first you're like, no, no, I got it. I can handle this. And then you learn to open up a little bit more and let your person take over and let them, um, you know, do things for you and let them call the shots with you somewhat. Obviously we don't want an imbalanced relationship. Heck no. But you know, maybe you're like, oh, well, it's okay. You can handle this time. You can make the reservation. Um, because part of coming into feminine energy is like expecting to be given stuff, expecting to receive. And so maybe that's a lesson you guys are learning is that you don't have to be giving, giving, giving. Maybe some of you guys are in that now and you're in relationships that are very much where you're expected to give. And this theme for you is about coming into an energy where you can receive and maybe you guys will enter this energy before the relationship begins or maybe during the course of the relationship um, because I feel like you're really realize there's something here about you guys realizing your worth and coming into a place where you're like I am awesome I deserve the best and that's a major theme of this relationship in some way so we got sad embrace storm fields movement come together and goblins. Hmm. So <laughs> trying to keeping this, a, I'm trying to keep this a really positive reading because I hate when they bring in negative stuff about future spouses and stuff. And y'all know that you can change your energy at any time. So if you, you know, don't want like an energy, you can always opt out of it. But you know, sometimes spirit brings through things that could be warnings or whatever. And I do feel like with storm fields and goblins, maybe this person can be a little difficult to deal with. So I don't know. With sad embrace, this might have been from your past. It might have been an attached energy from your past. And now you're moving into something really beautiful, really positive. Because to me, this person feels very upbeat. They feel very happy. So with sad embrace, that may be from your past relationships and you're learning to move out of it with movement into the positivity, into the joy. I do feel like sometimes you guys might like, I don't know, butt heads, fight a little, have arguments and stuff. Um, but it feels that overall it's very positive to me. Like I feel like you guys vibe together, you have fun together, you enjoy each other. I want to get some messages for you guys. But you know, maybe this is something you learn to move out of is like learn to move away from the goblins, learn to move into positive. Okay, so we got I was searching for you for so long. Oh, I want you all to myself. Mm -hmm. We got, I dream about you. I want to take care of you. I so respect everything you earned in your life. And final message for pile two from their future spouse is, I know you've been hurt in the past. Wow, I'm not surprised at all. Maybe let, let me get one more. I want to protect you. Yes, they're very protective of you. Okay, so I'm thinking that this sad cards is more about the past. Like you have been hurt and that's something that maybe still affects you. Maybe some of you guys have trauma. Yeah, this is starting to come together and coalesce into something. Okay, so I feel like a lot of you guys might have trauma that you guys have had to work through. Maybe you guys have had really difficult relationships where you were deceived and people treated you badly and there was a lot of arguing. There was a lot of tension and now it's like this is your soft place to land. Now this is like someone that you were looking for them for a really long time and maybe you guys were connected on the astral plane we know that you guys have a past life connection and it does feel like that to me it feels like you guys know each other and so maybe when you first meet it's like that moment of like who is that person did i meet them at a party wait, wait a minute i must know them um yeah, I feel like you you just feel so, so drawn to them. And again, I think they show their love for you in like kind of unconventional ways. Like I don't think they're the type. They would probably think writing like an over-the-top love song was super sappy. And you know, we didn't get for your love songs, we didn't get anything crazy sappy or over-the-top. Um, 
I feel like we just got kind of interesting different car different songs and upbeat or fast songs and so it's like I feel like they're not the type to, you know, their idea of love is not like the notebook. It's not something that is going to be over the top dripping with sentiment. They want to be in like a happy place. They probably like like comedies, things that make them laugh, things that make them think. And so it's like they don't necessarily show their love in like the most traditional way. I feel like for some of you guys, this person shows their love by like cooking for you or organizing their sock drawer or um, taking care of the kids for you. It feels like a very practical kind of relationship. Like both of you guys are very down to earth. And a lot of this is because I think you guys are going to be focused on your kids that you guys will have together. I feel like that's coming through really strong is this tribe you create. And I keep mentioning tribe, which is so interesting, but I just feel like there's multiple people around you that really matter and affect this relationship and that's something that's really beautiful for you in this relationship is kind of like I have my people I found my people I found my group you know like I feel that for a long time you guys have felt really lonely and when this person comes in they kind of initiate a you know initiate a period of you guys just feeling like you belong, feeling like you have someone who has your back. And I feel like you have that in multiple people around them, whether that's their friends, whether that's their family, whether that's the kids you guys have together. I don't know, but it's a general reading, but it just seems like there's multiple people at play. And I keep getting the vibe for you guys is like, I'm seeing the image of like, you know how someone will have a wedding and they'll come into a song that's like really funny instead of a really serious song you know like not some over the top like wedding waltz or a really intense song like um that Everly Brothers song I can't think of the name um but what is it some something symphony or something um but I feel like you guys are you're not that couple that is going to be like so over the top or play like I will always love you but you're probably gonna like laugh or play a like a t-pain song or play like a funny song that you know everyone is cracking up or do like a dance to the song or um or just it just feels like there's a very light-hearted energy between the two of you it feels like you guys both laugh and have the same sense of humor and there's a lot of joy happiness and just good vibes between you guys and it's like you're ready to move out of this period of pain and hardships and sorrow and difficulty and move into a period in life where you're laughing and I feel like that's what this person does for you I feel like they might even be the type to get you gag gifts or to give you like funny uh you know, a funny present or something, or just do like almost like clown stuff, but like on purpose, not like accidental clown, like, oh my God, you're being a clown, but, um, but stuff that makes you laugh, stuff that puts a smile on your face and just lights up your day. So it just feels like there's so much positivity flowing between you guys. And maybe this is where I'm getting this childish energy because I do feel like children will thrive in this environment. Child your kids are going to have so much fun. They're always going to be laughing. They're always going to be playing. I feel like both of you guys are kind of kids at heart. Um, even though you have been through a lot. Sorry guys, my filming cut out, but what I was saying was you have been through a lot of pain and now it's like, you're ready to come into the positivity. You're ready to come into the really good vibe with this person and I honestly feel that this is a part of them making you laugh like I keep getting the vibe of you know a wedding and instead of you guys dancing to the first song being like a really um dramatic song like you know my heart will go on by Celine Dion or something or um or like a very traditional waltz you guys are coming out and like doing a choreographed dance or you know dancing to T-Pain or something of course if you don't want to do that. Obviously you don't have to, but it just feels like there's a happiness or there's a lightheartedness and you guys just be march to the beat of your own drum and you're kind of doing what you want to do. You know, you're not thinking about what others, you don't care about others. You don't, you're not upset if they judge you or whatever. You're just like focused on yourself and doing what you like. And there's a lot of happiness here. So I feel like even if you guys do have arguments, it's stuff you guys can work through. It's stuff where you guys will also have the tools, the life experience where you're okay with like talking it out and compromising and stuff like that. Um, 
but yeah it feels like you guys also your relationship is really defined by these kids that I feel like come strongly into your life and really add so much to it and it almost feels like you guys are kids like you guys are just two kids that decided to like play house together because again there's a lot of joking there's a lot of laughing I also feel like your person is that person who yeah, they want to take care of you. They will, you know, do the laundry for you or fold socks for you. And that's kind of how they show love. Um, but a lot of your like activities and times together is almost not juvenile stuff, but kind of like stuff that probably a teenager would want to do. Like, hey, let's go to the beach and have a bonfire or let's go surfing together or let's um, drive out to the hills together and like watch the lights. And I feel like both of you guys enjoy that. Both of you guys like that you can laugh. It feels like neither one of you is a super serious person if you are a super serious person you might have picked the wrong pile and maybe you should repick but it just or maybe this person is gonna bring that out of you make you into a person who laughs you know make you into per a person who like smiles a lot so we also got ace of wands seven of cups six of cups the release aka death card and the star so with Ace of Wands, this person is very attracted to you. And what have I been saying about children? It's just coming in really strong. So if you don't want to have kids, maybe get on birth control. But with the Six of Cups, there's definitely children indicated. And I feel like that's a big part of this relationship. Honestly, why it has kind of an innocent, pure, almost childish vibe is because these kids make a big part of it. So just like, you know, as an adult, you wouldn't probably choose to want to listen to like Baby Shark on your own free will. But when you have kids, of course, you're going to like play it for them because they're going to be screaming that they want to listen to it so it just seems like yeah there's like this youthful aspect to the relationship and it definitely could just be these kids coming through um with the death card again this is a transformative relationship and i feel like for a lot of you guys you are letting go of this painful past or this idea that you had to conform to a certain standard um also you know the star is ruled by aquarius and i feel like for a lot of you guys this is a relationship that is very marching to the beat of your own drum you're not caring so much what other people have to say you're not caring so much if someone approved or disapproved some of you guys you might have like a timeline that's unconventional like maybe certain people you know feel like okay i gotta get engaged after a year then we get married after a year and we follow like this blueprint and i feel like you guys write your own rules like if you want to get engaged or married after three months you will or if you want to be together for 10 years and not get engaged or married then you will or if you want to get pregnant first and then you're like oh we should probably go get married or let's go to vegas and get married or you have kids and they're like six years old and they walk in the ceremony but it just seems like there's a lot of you guys choosing to do things your own way and not feeling like you have to blend in or fit in to a very traditionalist structure for things and also Aquarius can talk about groups of people and again I keep getting this group of people around you guys as support maybe it's even angels on the other side I feel like for a lot of you guys this person might have a really good family that you feel very attached to and you really enjoy their family and that becomes your family that becomes your tribe with the ace of wands like i said they're very attracted to you they're very into you they're very drawn to you and with the seven of cups i also feel like maybe you are making a lot of decisions when they come in in terms of like you're dating a lot of people or you're swiping through tinder all the time or you're out on different dates and it feels like they really stick out from the crowd that maybe they're the star so maybe they just command attention i do feel like this person is a leader in their group but it feels like you guys are kind of in demand by the time they come and you have options and then they just kind of blow you away and you're like oh okay I really want to date them I really like this person and again I feel like a big part of that is that they make you laugh it's almost like they're taking a load off because sometimes the energy can feel dark I feel like in your life and can feel burdensome maybe as the empress you have a lot of responsibilities maybe you are running around and your schedule is packed and you're going here and you're going there and it's hard to even find time to meet this person but you always want to squeeze them in because you know they're going to put a smile on your face you know they're going to make you relax and laugh and be like oh you know what i don't have to take this so serious and you know what if that project doesn't go through it's not the end of the world it feels like there's something about this relationship that just brings such joy and happiness and you finally feel like you belong you finally find feel like you're with your people so let's get some astro dice that this person will have pile to his future spouse 
So we got Gemini, third house and nodes. Wow. So a lot of Gemini energy coming in and that doesn't surprise me. Gemini's can be a little chaotic, I guess, but I love Gemini's, you know, they're so talkative, bubbly, strong Mercury energy. And so I feel like with you guys, you know, this is a happy, positive vibe for you guys. This is a uplifting, good, positive kind of energy. Like I said, this person is going to make you laugh. The conversations are going to be on point. Gemini is so funny. They are the best conversationalist and it feels like you guys are always laughing with this person. It feels like you guys always have great conversation and I feel like your dinner party conversations, like if people overhear it in a restaurant, they're going to be like, oh my God, what are they talking about? And like cracking up, just listening. Um, with the nodes that can speak about destiny. So it feels like this is something that's destined. And I do feel like there's so much growth happening in this relationship. I keep getting that, like, especially on your end, I feel like this person and you are kind of fated to come into each other's lives and hold each other's hands to get through the difficulty and also to teach and to learn and to grow. And it's almost like teaching you not to take things so seriously, not to be so hard on yourself, not to be in a lot of pain. Maybe some of you guys have struggled with depression or struggled with anxiety. And this person is the opposite. This person is very lighthearted. This person is laugh a minute. This person is like relaxed and, you know, very happy with themselves and just joyful and always having a good time. And so instead of you being in like your depressed energy they kind of slow you slowly bring you out of your shell but i don't feel like it's overwhelming to you because again keep in mind they're an introvert so at first when you meet them you might be like oh they're kind of they're kind of like me in this sense like they 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 they're kind of had had a lot of pain and they're still in that but you don't realize that like they're just a different kind of introvert and actually on the inside they're always laughing and joking and all their friends are that way um and maybe that's why you kind of find your tribe is like they bring their friends in their friends really like you it's just an overall vibe and i feel like you're going to be so integrated into the community i keep getting that so maybe if you do have kids you're the pta president or they are or you help your child out with like the girl scout troop or boy scout troop um, or whatever like it just feels like you're very involved there's not just this relationship and it's like the two of you and you're alone and isolated in this relationship it feels like there's all these people around and they are helping you guys standing by they enjoy you guys being together it feels like just your relationship brings a lot of joy to other people which is interesting to me um, because it's an unusual vibe so i feel like there's just a lot of people cheering you on and helping you guys get through it if you have a rough patch or bringing you casseroles when you need it i want to get more songs for this pile so hot you're hurting my feelings caroline polachek emotion the Bee Gees. i feel like your person is the kind of person that would like make fun of a song like that <laughs> maybe that's why it's coming out um pillow talk zane trip to your heart britney spears i feel like they just have a light-hearted vibe like the vibe i'm getting from them is like someone that is just a good time you know just someone that you would want to invite to your party and honestly they might be a little quiet at first and then I feel like once they get to know you they would just not stop talking and you'd be like oh my god wow you have a lot to say but in a good way like they're a good conversationalist they they have a lot of interest they're highly intelligent they're someone that probably knows a lot of pop culture references and probably um you know, has learned a lot, probably has been to college and is educated and um, maybe came from a family that's like highly intelligent is what I'm getting for some of you guys. Like they come from a prominent family or something. And it's almost like they're like that quirky kind of intelligence where they're, they are intelligent in a book smart way, but not just that way. Also with like pop culture and entertainment and other things like that and i feel like you guys would almost be that couple that watches like an ironic movie every christmas like you know like instead of watching you know um that movie i don't even know what it's called but like a beautiful life wait no it's not that but anyway that i don't know instead of watching some traditional christmas movie that is like tugging on your heartstrings it's a wonderful life that's what i was thinking of instead of watching it's a wonderful life you guys would be watching like die hard and it was kind of it would kind of be ironic or you guys would be watching the nightmare before christmas or a tim burton film or like having a horror movie marathon and it's like a funny joke like everyone else knows about it maybe you post about it on instagram and all your friends are like oh my god y'all are so crazy why are you watching this stuff on christmas 
but it feels like you guys have your own little world and there's just a lot of laughter there's a lot of joy there's a lot of inside jokes you guys don't take things too seriously you're probably not that family that's like flipping out about like you know the ingredients in food and making sure it's all organic like you're like you know what eat the cupcakes eat the donut and you, there's a lot of lightheartedness here there's a lot of joy and I just think yeah it's like you're not that house also that feels like everything has to be so organized and it's all minimalist and it's very severe and everything has to be perfectly in place. It feels like it's like, oh, it's okay It's a, if it's a little messy and like, we'll figure it out. There's a lot of love here and that's all that matters. I just feel like you guys are going to be so happy together and after everything you guys have been through, maybe some traumatic upbringings or traumatic relationships, it's just going to be a real relief to be with this person. The joy is just coming through, the happiness, the laughter, and I feel like when you guys do have disagreements, you'll be able to work through it. You'll be able to get through it. You guys um, always can see the star because the star talks about, you know, in moments of depression or whatever or just difficulty and pain. We know there's that star. We can look to the star and be like, okay, I got to keep heading that way. And I feel like your guys' laughter and enthusiasm and joy you have for each other and the kind of almost sarcastic or sardonic view this person has where they don't just don't take things that seriously. It helps you get through those rough patches. It helps you when you're dealing with your own pain because you can always kind of get a laugh from them. them. You can always have them look at things and make you realize like it's really not that serious it's some um, it's a positive let let's look at things positively let's look at things joyfully so it brings a lot of joy to your life and i just think you guys are going to be super happy with this so anyway let me know if it resonated guys this was such an interesting reading i'm really curious about this pile and i want to hear what you guys have to think about it and if it you know if you are in that role of which side you're in if you're the funny one or maybe the serious one, but I definitely am curious about this pile. So let me know and also make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you guys want to check out my Patreon, link is in my bio for that for all my extra readings over there. And I also am for the time being opening private readings. So you can check out the link to that in my bio. And I think that's about it. Make sure you're subscribed over here as well. I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Have an amazing Valentine's week, guys. Take care. Bye. Hey, pile three. So if you guys picked this pink donut, this is going to be your reading. I absolutely love the kind of pink peachy blush color on this. It's so pretty, perfect for Valentine's Day. And then I love this little detail on this Swiss roll. I can't believe how much detail they put on this. Even the little berries on top, like imagine getting that on your donut. Like, oh my God, overachiever at the donut shop if they put that on. And then there's this beautiful little piped on flower made out of frosting. It just looks so good. And honestly, as far as donuts, they're not really romantic usually, but I feel like this donut is romantic. This is like the Casanova of donuts. So if you got that on Valentine's morning, you'd be very happy. Well, let's get into your tarot, guys. So we got the Knight of Pentacles, the Tower card, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands reversed, Knight of Wands, and finally the Ten of Cups. So your person is coming in pretty hot. Like I feel like they come in knowing exactly what they want. This isn't someone with wishy-washy energy who's um, kind of unfocused in life and kind of like, you know, head in the clouds. This is someone who is very um, a goal-oriented type of person, like a go-getter. And I feel like when they want you and they go after you, they come in very strongly and they're not playing games or trying to play the field. It feels like when they come in, they know they want you and they're very much um, strongly showing that they're not trying to like get in your head or play it cool or anything like that um, this person you know there's such fire and earth energy coming through um, so they probably have a chart very strongly made up of either earth or fire so that would be Capricorn Taurus Virgo and then Aries Leo Sagittarius um, I feel like they're probably gonna have majority energy in their chart being some of those signs um, so I feel that it's almost like infectious. I feel that this person, you know, they seem like they're very focused on their life purpose as well. And I'm actually hearing from spirit that that's one of the reasons you guys are supposed to link up together is that you guys have this kind of shared mission that you guys are supposed to accomplish in this lifetime. And I feel like when you meet them, it's almost like things fall into place for you. If you have been feeling lost with like, I don't know what my mission is. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing for a career. I feel 
feel like meeting this person starts answering some of those questions just because they might have like a, a charity that they run or something and then they ask you to like be on the board or um, they might just inspire you like you're like oh I kind of have this idea to do this and they're like we'll start a business I'll help you like they just seem almost they might be an entrepreneur or someone that is used to going after things and getting them they're very goal-driven ambitious and kind of down to earth like I feel like this person you know when I say down to earth I feel like Earth energy is great at knowing what they need to do to succeed. And, you know, I think water signs and air signs are great at visualizing like, okay, I should do this. I have this great creative idea, which is so wonderful and important. But a big part of success is taking those objective steps like, you know, actually filing for your taxes or actually filing to start an LLC or actually staying up late to work on it or, you know, after you see Say to someone like I can do this project for you actually doing it um, kind of like the imagining is really good for water signs and air signs but taking that um, those productive steps like step by step one by one one after the other is where earth signs really shine and fire signs as well are great at taking action and actually doing things not just talking but doing and I think that's where this person really that's like their domain you know they are someone that probably might wake up early in the morning and be that person that's like fresh out of bed drinking their organic coffee and then you know going to work out and then um, eating a healthy breakfast and really a lot of enthusiasm you might be like oh my god you have a lot of energy calm down like it may be a little much at times I feel almost for some of you guys because um, I feel like a lot of people can't keep up with this person to be honest I feel like this person is very busy always is excitable always has something they're working on something they're doing something they're excited excited about some like a meeting they're taking or like I'm going out with friends and doing this and it's almost like they have a packed schedule but I feel like it's almost like they just welcome you right into their world and you enjoy this like it might not seem to you like enjoyable now you know I'm a water sign so I need a little downtime so I don't know if I would want to <laughs> Uh, you know for me I would be like um, oh, I need my breaks I need to chill a little bit but you know I think for you guys it feels like you really love this and like you just get swept up into their world and it's like their world becomes your world and next thing you know maybe you're someone who's like no I just always like to lay around on Sunday but then next thing you know you're waking up at 6 a.m. too and going to a workout class and you love it you enjoy it you're like you know, or you're planning a hike with this person. Um, because I feel like, again, their energy is infectious. Like, you know, that's the thing about fire signs is a lot of times I feel you might not be that down for something and you're kind of like, eh, I don't know. And then if you have a fire sign friend or something, the way they talk to you about something, they'll just be like, oh my God, it's the best. No, you have to see it. You have to go. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I just absolutely love this. It's the best thing ever and blah, blah, blah. And next thing you know, you were on the fence, but you're like, what, really? Oh, that sounds, okay. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go. And, um, you know, you they're, energy and enthusiasm and the excitement they have rubs off on you so I feel like this person is that kind of person that yeah they're like the first to wake up they're probably gonna cook you breakfast or something and you'll be like oh dang I slept in to 7 30 and now you literally cleaned the whole house and did everything and like this person just seems like they're very busy they they have a lot of stuff going on in their life and with the tower card coming through you know since we're finding out about their personality this could be someone who's just disruptive because the tower card comes in to disrupt and to you know shake up our lives and I feel like this person has that effect it's not that they're trying to disrupt but again they're bursting in with such energy I just got the image of of all things the Kool-Aid man you know how he burst through walls in the commercials like the if you guys haven't ever seen it at least in the US they show these commercials for the Kool-Aid for Kool-Aid where you know there's a big jug of Kool-Aid and it always bursts through the wall so someone will be like in their room and then just this giant um, like personified um, Kool-Aid uh, jug will just burst through the wall and just the wall just like shatters and then he's like in their living room and that's the image I'm getting for your, your person like it's like I feel like they just burst into people's lives and just shake things up and I feel like it's almost like this person's um, 
spiritual mission is to do that because sometimes people can be very complacent and just get into like a boring routine of like, uh, I'm just waking up and then I'm just going to kind of mosey around and then I'm swiping on my phone and then I go watch Netflix and then I guess I, you know, like on their day off, I guess, or whatever, or I'm just going to work. Then I come home. I don't really do anything like, and your person, it's almost like their life mission is to infect people with their joy and their enthusiasm because they're very full of life. They're that person that honestly, sometimes people might be annoyed by them. Like, oh my God, why are you so happy? It's 5 a.m. Or why are you so excited about doing this project? Like this is work. What is wrong with you? And I feel like some of their coworkers and stuff at times in their life may have been kind of jealous of their energy. Like why is this person so happy all the time? And so, you know, excited about having to like stay late and work an extra hour after we were supposed to get off. Like why are they smiling the whole time? But it's because this person likes working you know, that's an earth sign thing. Earth signs like to be busy. They, they can't really relax. And, um, if you give an earth sign, a lot of earth signs, of course, it depends on the rest of your chart. A lot of times how someone likes to work will be shown through their Mars sign, um, and other, you know, placements as well. Um, but a lot of people with prominent earth energy in their chart is going to be someone who so like if you have an earth sign with a water mars they might not be this way but earth sign energy is that type of person that when you give them a day off they're usually working on side hustles or they're working on something even if they don't get paid for it they're going to be that person that's like wanting to knit in front of the tv or wanting to do a little side project or wanting to do like fixing up the kitchen on their day off and people are like oh my god like what is wrong with you guys just take a break but they don't like to do that you know um and you know it's like my mom has a lot of fire energy in her chart and she's that person because fire signs like to be busy as well and she's that person that when you're like come sit and watch a movie she's like okay one more I just need to do a few more things like she just likes to be busy she doesn't like to sit still and I feel like that's your person they like to be doing stuff they like to be active and I think that that really rubs off on you and I think it honestly makes you really happy with the ten of cups I think that a lot of you guys are going to be really fulfilled by this and create a home with them and a family but y'all are probably going to be that couple that like everyone looks at like dang can they take a break like why is she president of the pta and he's looking really good out here all the time at pickup and like you kind of put everyone else to shame a little bit you know people might be insecure seeing you guys come through with the level of success that you guys have so watch you're hurting my feelings well i'm not surprised because i feel like this person is very attractive and we did get the knight of wands heart wants the heart wants what it wants by selena gomez oh okay God only knows by the Beach Boys. These fell out. Rehab, Brianna. Okay. I will. The Beatles. Okay. I think that's a good song for this person because I feel like they're good at making promises and stuff and like actually living up on them, like actually carrying them out. So these are the songs. I didn't tell you guys what I was doing. I just started picking from this cup, but I made a bunch of songs. I love this coffee mug, by the way. Um, I made a bunch of songs that are like love songs for us to get the vibe of your relationship. So we have So Hot You're Hurting My Feelings by Caroline Polachek, I Will by The Beatles, I Remember by Gay Sayer, Style by Taylor Swift, The Heart Wants What It Wants by Selena Gomez, God Only Knows by The Beach Boys, and Rehab Rihanna. You know, I feel like rehab could be coming in because it's almost like, I, I hate to say you guys are learning from this person because I don't like generally to put a hierarchy in relationships, but it does feel like you're learning a lot from this person. And it's not that they just call all the shots, but I feel like they, they have figured out a lot in their relationship like or in their life. They know how to like make things happen, how to be a success. And I feel like it's like they want you to grow with them. They want to make a really successful business together. They don't want to just be like out here winning and succeeding on their own. They want to bring you in. They want to have you have the success with them. So it's almost like with rehab, it's not that you're going to rehab, but it's like, you know, when you go to rehab, you learn a lot, you're in therapy, you kind of take stock of your own dysfunctional behaviors. I mean, I've never been, but I'm just, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what goes on. And it's almost like you take a break from life, pause and reflect. And I feel that that's kind of what's going on is like, at first there may be a little bit of tension with you being like, 
I don't want to do that. Or like, wait, why do we have to do this? Why do we have to wake up at that hour? Or why do we have to be talking about running our business together during our Valentine's Day dinner or something? But it's like with time, you realize how you guys, I feel you guys have this shared mission. So there's a reason why you guys are brought together. It's not just like a stupid business on the side that's like, scamming people out of money and not benefiting them. It's like you guys really have a mission, I think, that um, God has put you guys for. And we got God Only Knows by the Beach Boys. And um, so it's like there's a reason why you guys are supposed to to move in together and to be around each other. It's because you guys are carrying out this shared purpose or shared mission through this business or maybe it's kids you guys are going to have with the Ten of Cups, or maybe it's a charity, but I just feel like there's something y'all are supposed to do together. And at first you might be like, what kind of relationship is this? Like, I've never had a relationship where we're working out together. How romantic is this? This is not romantic to me. But over time, you're like, dang, I feel better than I ever have. Like communications on points. Um, I feel really good. I wake up in the morning with more energy. It's like you learn from this person and they rub off on you with like how much joy they take in their life, if that makes sense. And I'm not surprised we got So Hot You're Hurting My Feelings by Caroline Polachek because again, with the way this person is working out and I feel that they eat healthy and they're very much someone who likes takes care of their body and wants to look good, wants to feel good, that they're probably very attractive. And I feel like a lot of people will be attracted to them with the Knight of Wands. They're probably quite sexy and a lot of people are attracted to them. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, they might have dark hair. And, you know, I feel like, you know, night, night cards can also indicate being younger. So they might be a little bit younger than you, but, you know, it's a general reading, so I don't like to focus too much on those characteristics just from um, just from the cards. But yeah, I feel like this person, because you know they could be. I'm seeing blonde hair too, so they could be blonde. But I just feel that this person is going to come in and be very attractive, and it's like they're they're very sexy, and they have a lot of people um, who would be interested in dating them. Um, so yeah, and with the heart wants what it wants and style, I feel like those cards are all about sexy energy to me, like, you know, almost feeling addicted. And and then we have Rehab by Rihanna, which is the same vibe, hence the title. So it's like you are very drawn to this person. And I maybe that's where the tower comes in, where there may be a moment when you're like, oh, I'm just done with this or something. And you just can't stay away because they're so attractive and they're very charming. I feel like when they want to be charming, they can really turn it on. But honestly, I feel like this is a positive relationship and vibe. So let's get some more cards. So we got the Keeper of the Scales, Fairness, Balance, the Sacred Union, Partnership, Romance, and the Fire Prince, Optimism, Aggression. So more fire energy coming in and kind of young fire energy. So again, Leo, Sag, Aries definitely could be this person's vibe. I feel like they're someone who just has so much enthusiasm and fire energy of like going for it and not doubting themselves and just being very, um, very, very, uh, what do I call it? I don't know, enthusiastic. I keep saying that word, but that's what is coming through. And then we have Keeper of the Scales. So again, I just get that with Sacred Union and Keeper of the Scales, there's something that you guys are doing together. There's some kind of purpose where you guys are bringing fairness and balance to the world. Maybe you guys are involved in like a social justice cause together or you do something for the good of the planet, maybe like environmentalism, but it feels like there's a purpose for this relationship that you guys are bringing this in i think in a way also just the relationship you guys have it's a model to other people like people see you guys together and they're like wow like they have a really great relationship or they get inspired by the way you guys deal with each other because i feel like you guys would that be kind of like that couple on instagram that everyone's like dang they look so perfect because part of this is you guys are very productive you take that time to wake up early in the morning and like do your hair or to work out or to eat right or something. So 
you guys are just really looking good and I feel like there's a lot of energy flowing around you guys and people are just kind of like wow if they can do that maybe I can do that maybe you inspire people to you know maybe they haven't worked out in like years and you inspire them to try a workout routine or maybe they are used to eating like fast food all the time and you inspire them to try a green juice or something um, I don't know but it just feels like there's something about you guys together that inspires other people and um, yeah, I feel like with this, you know, this always looks to me like the justice card. And so there's some kind of just cause or some kind of purpose of what you guys are doing and um, some higher meaning of like, of, of maybe this person is a lawyer and you guys take on like unjust cases that need to be fixed or maybe um, or maybe you have a charity that helps like the uh, you know impoverished people or underprivileged and I don't know I just feel like it's really really doing beautiful stuff so we got moderation stargazing go outside so one of my piles is always getting like this star connection of looking up at the stars with your person or you know, I feel like you guys might be that outdoorsy couple that like vacations in national parks or goes to like Alaska or goes to see the Northern Lights or, you know, goes to on like kind of eco vacations where you're hiking. Again, you definitely would be that couple that is like active on vacation. Like you're not just lounging in the room and just eating bonbons together. You guys would be going on a hike or going snorkeling or scuba diving or maybe even like, um, going what is it skydiving or something crazy exploring a waterfall or um yeah like it just feels like you guys are going to have active trips together and you're going to be connected to nature i do feel like this person is connected to nature and a lot of earth signs have that deep connection to the earth so yeah you guys and i didn't even look at go outside i just i yeah so that again yeah same same thing where you guys are not going to be want to be holed up inside. You're going to want to be outside and like in nature and experiencing things and out in the world. I feel like that's something that is one of this person's gifts is like a lot of people can end up just being overwhelmed with like the energy, especially my water signs during my like private readings and stuff. A lot of water signs have hard, a hard time because a lot of them are highly empathic and they don't have as much of a barrier um, or natural protection as other signs is kind of one way of putting it. And it's like, I feel like they just absorb people's energy and it can be very draining for them to go outside and, you know, interact with people. And there's definitely ways to protect yourself. So I don't want to sound like that's like a life sentence, but, you know, fire signs, I feel like this person, they have kind of natural barriers. They're not as affected as other people's energy. So, you know, sometimes people can get into a routine of like just staying inside or not going out. And it's like this person is that person that will have no fear about going out into a crowded market and if someone's in a good mood they probably don't even absorb it they're they're projecting such powerful energy themselves and they are constantly generating new energy that it's like it doesn't really affect them so they they're not like going to be that person that's like oh i don't want to leave i'm just sick of dealing with people you know they're just going to be fearless to go outside do whatever they want to do at any point in time and again with moderation i feel like this is someone that eats really healthily eats well is very healthy works out probably is very health conscious so let's get more cards my other coffee mug i just love these mugs for their like other characteristics some physical characteristics and personality traits we got well educated same culture okay so you guys aren't going to be from totally opposite cultures, family oriented, good gift giver. Okay. Let me get some characteristics for pile threes, future spouse, good cook. Okay. And I feel like they would cook healthy from different part of the world. Okay. Light haired. Okay. I was seeing that rich. Doesn't surprise me because I do think this person just with the way they work, probably going to be, um, successful so we got high cheekbones okay patience and sweet so a lot of characteristics here for you guys to think about and look out for with your person um again yeah i'm not surprised that they're wealthy because i feel like this person has worked really hard in life and they're they are very good at manifesting money and stuff um so they might be from a different part of the country or a different part of the world 
or the same culture. We got both. So maybe they're from the same area as you, or maybe a little bit outside of it, but it feels like you guys have certain things in common, even if maybe you're from different cultures. Maybe you have enough in common where you're from different cultures, but both cultures are big on family or both cultures are big on hard work or something. And there's enough in common. Like, you know, there's not complete like culture shock of like, oh my God, we don't even believe in any of the same things. It's like there's enough that you guys share that. Um, you can feel, you know, kind of at home or it doesn't feel like a culture shock, I guess. Um, but yeah, I feel like they are a good cook. Again, they would be the type of cook to cook healthy. Um, they just seem like they really have lived a life before they meet you, which I like. Like, I feel like they're coming into this as someone who has kind of a routine set and it's very productive and a really good routine. It's not something dysfunctional like they're doing crazy stuff and they're kind of, you know, in a crazy routine that's a little weird. It feels like they have their life figured out on a really high level. So let's get more cards. So we got confidence. They have a lot of confidence, closure, justice, and finding. So more justice energy coming through more. And, you know, they might have some Libra placements as well. Um, with that justice card coming through. So um, Libra is like the keeper of the scales and everything. So I don't know, maybe they have, you know, they, I, they seem like a real charmer. So maybe they would have a Libra, a, a Libra Mercury or something or a Libra Venus. Um, but it feels like they can charm anyone they want to charm. Um, but yeah, they have a lot of confidence and I feel like that rubs off on you just the way they enter a room. They're not someone who doubts themselves or gets in their head or, you know, starts getting like clammy hands and feeling weird and feeling awkward. So I feel like for some of you guys, maybe that's something you have faced is like, you know, social anxiety or dealing with feeling insecure in this world. And they're just coming through so strongly that it's like, it makes you feel bold when you're with them. And you never have to worry about like, oh my gosh, I'm scared in this situation because they're very like protective and just kind of come in strongly. Like they're fearless. So you don't have to worry so much about some of the things you may have worried in the past. And they inspire you to just be really, really brave. And I didn't mention it, but with, I do want to mention quickly high cheekbones and gift giver. I feel like they are a really good gift giver. And I feel like, again, some of the gifts they give are things that inspire you or help you level up. Like they would be that person that would be, give really good practical gifts. I feel like here's, um, an upgrade to your car. Like I, I took it to the mechanic and I got you heated seats or something. Like it's like stuff that really helps you in your day to day and like levels you up because I feel like they would be that person that's like obsessed with adaptogens or obsessed with different kinds of herbs or obsessed with eating healthy and like the effects that has on the body and stuff like that. And so it's like, they impart a lot of their knowledge on you. And they are really smart in that way. And that could be also how they're educated. They might be educated not from like Harvard and Yale, but more educated because they've like sought out education on themselves. They could be either, but I'm just saying they seem really smart in like nutrition and in like day-to-day -day life things. So yeah. So for some of you guys, maybe you were in relationships in the past where you didn't feel as secure. You didn't know the person's intentions. Maybe they were wishy-washy about you and you kind of were like, I think they like me. I think they're serious, but I don't really know. And I feel like this relationship helps give you closure because it's like, okay, this is how I'm supposed to be treated. This is how it feels when someone goes after you and knows they want you without a shadow of a doubt. And they're not insecure about it. They're not nervous. They're not like twisting their fingers together and twiddling their thumbs and being like, Oh, I don't know. They're just kind of, they they're going after it strongly and clearly. And I feel like that's what you guys want. And it helps blot out all those other past relationships from your mind. So you may have a time when you're like, I can't believe I even cared about that person. Or I can't believe I ever worried about this person. Like, to you now, it's just like, oh my God, that relationship was like nothing compared to what I have now. Um, and it's like, you know, now what it's like to be treated amazingly, you know, what it's like to find your person and just feel it click into place. And that thing that you were looking for with this person, it just kind of perfectly makes sense. So other cards we got are passion, engagement, 
make the effort and love yourself first. So this person definitely makes the effort for you. And I feel like also you guys, I'm getting two different messages that some of you guys, you might get engaged really quick when you meet this person, or it might be like a prolonged situation where you you're together a few years and you might be even pushing, like, can we just get engaged? And I feel like this person, again, they're kind of, I don't want to say set in their ways, but it's like, they're kind of that person that would probably be like, what's the point of getting engaged, you know, or like, oh, it's just a construct or something. But I feel like eventually they would definitely give that to you. But I feel like for some of you guys, when you meet them, they also might just know they want an engagement and it's like boom, boom, boom. So I know that's kind of a confusing mes message, but Spirit wanted me to clarify that. Um, yeah, because I feel like this person is the type of person that when they want something, they go after it full force. So either they'll want it right away or they won't want it. And there might be a little bit of that push pull with you being like, okay, it's time to get engaged. And them being like, uh, I don't really see the point. Like I have other stuff that like, again, they're also very, very busy with their life. They're very busy with their life, but they're very focused on you. You guys have a lot of passion. I feel like your time in the bedroom is going to be amazing. Both of you guys are very turned on by the other and both of you guys are very excited by the other. And both of you guys are probably pretty physically active or capable of doing stuff, you know, in the bedroom in terms of longevity and stuff. So it feels like um, that is going to be a very on point part of your life for sure. That's going to be a major aspect of this relationship and probably means a lot to this person because I feel like one of their love languages is going to be physical touch and probably also, you know, gift giving or um, acts of service or something. But it feels like they are definitely going to be very passionate with you and be very turned on by you and definitely um, show their a a attraction to you and their love for you in a very physical, physical sense. Um, I also feel like with love yourself first, a part of this relationship is you learning to really love yourself and to put effort into yourself, you know, because I feel like some of you guys, you've been around people that have kind of acted like you're not that important or like maybe you develop some bad coping skills where like when you're upset about something, you'd overeat or you'd, you know, um, do like dysfunctional behavior instead of being like, okay, how can I fix this situation? Not that there's anything wrong with like once in a while when you're upset, you know, being like, okay, I need some pizza or something, you know, but that can also spiral out of control or be doing it too much or be relying on that as an emotional crutch instead of dealing with the issue at hand. And I feel like this person really takes you out of that energy. Some of you guys, you might already have learned to move past that and transmute it, in which case it will just be an instant energetic match. But for some of you guys, you learn from this person like, oh, I don't need to get give into like a stupid lower vibrational urge. Or once I feel negative energy around me, I have the power to transmute it and turn it into something positive and take actionable steps towards whatever I want. So by the time they come in, they're really teaching you how to love yourself and you leave and not that this relationship is going to end, but this relationship teaches you to really love yourself, to go after what you want, that you deserve everything you want. And this person knows that about themselves. So I feel like they're in their energy towards you is really infectious. So we got commitment and intimacy. So again, your connection in the bedroom when you guys are joined together in that way is a major part of this relationship that truly um, gives you guys this solid foundation for the rest of this relationship. I feel like both of you guys are so attracted to each other and so drawn to each other. And there's just this deep, overwhelming attraction that you have. And I also think with commitment, this, this person is very committed to a lot of aspects of their life. You know, um, they tend to enter everything in their life with a level of commitment and with a level of like seriousness. They're not someone that just is going to do something half-heartedly or be like, Oh, sorry. I know I forgot to send that email, but Oh, well, like they're going to go after it and really take everything seriously. And I feel like that goes for you. It also goes for like any kids you would have. They would be that person that like, if they tell you like, I'm picking our child up from daycare, they're going to be there on time. Or if they tell you that, you know, they're going to handle the food for the soccer team match, they're going to do it. And it's going to be like amazing over the top, 
not just like some random old orange slices and some soda. It's going to be, you know, like some really nice protein bars that are really healthy and um, lots of extra goodies. I don't know what else, maybe like carrot sticks and like celery sticks, but just feels like when they do commit to something, they go all out. And so I feel like they drive a lot of that into the relationship too. Like they're prioritizing you, they're working for you. They're kind of on your team and they make you a central part of their life. So you don't have to worry about like, I don't really see them that often or, you know, um, I don't really know how they feel. Like it, they're so enthusiastic about things that like when they like something, you know it without a shadow of a doubt. So let me get some other cards for you guys and messages from them. So another cup that I just love just love these cups but anyway so we got I know you've been hurt in the past okay so that did come up being with you feels fresh and new I love being playful with you I am in awe of you wow we have the same sense of humor messages for pile three from their person and finally I want to take care of you and no one gets me the way you do I feel like you guys have great conversations together like I could see two people sitting on the um, beach or like having dinner at the beach at like a nice romantic setting and maybe a lot of the other couples are kind of staring off and watching the sunset and it's like a quiet vibe listening to the music and you guys are just talking a mile a minute with each other again you guys are so aligned on your path I really think a lot of you guys are opening a business together or um, starting a charity together or like they're just such a go-getter and I, uh, that might be some of you guys or it might rub off on you and I feel like that becomes something that you guys just have fun with like you enjoy talking about you know different investment properties you have at dinner or you enjoy talking about like okay so we signed Brendan up for the soccer team he's doing really well and blah 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 the coach said this but there's something you guys really enjoy it's almost like you guys are teammates you're not just romantic partners it's not just about this physical romantic attraction although that definitely exists it's also about you guys playing for the same team and kind of strategizing how do we win how do we do well um you guys are so aligned with like the same goals the same causes the same um things that you guys want in this world and so because of that um i think that like the conversation never is going to be dry. The conversation is never going to run out of topics. And I feel like you guys will be chatting a mile a minute and all the other tables might be looking at y'all like, oh my God, okay, they haven't stopped talking the whole time. It might even make them insecure. Like, okay, here we are just sitting in silence. Like it's kind of awkward actually, because they're over there talking a mile a minute and they're having so much fun and laughing really loud. And everyone else is kind of quiet. And like, I don't know, like it just feels like you guys have this special energy between you guys and you might know each other from past lives because again I'm getting that for a lot of you guys you are drawn to them to carry out a shared mission so there's this reason why you guys are coming together that serves this higher purpose so let's get more cards so we got intention spark field of dreams and into the unknown so I feel like when you meet this person it's almost like you have no idea of how much they're going to change your life obviously whenever we you know meet someone romantically we're like oh I hope I end up with them or like you know oh it would be great to find my soulmate I hope this person is it or something but I feel like it's like this is not just a typical soulmate where you guys are together and kind of on separate paths but you're you're coming together in that moment but you kind of keep everything separate you know like you have your job and then he has his job and then um you know you have your routine and he has his routine it's like you guys are so joined you guys i feel like it's like you just enjoy spending time together i don't know if we pulled that as a card but i'm hearing you are my favorite person i don't even know if i wrote that as a card but that's just coming to my mind so strong you are my favorite person so i feel like this person it's like they just like hanging out with you and you like hanging out with them and i feel like at first you're maybe 
I don't want to say rough patches, but almost like adjustment because there's a lot to integrate it. Like I said, it's not like a typical relationship where you're keeping a lot of stuff separate and you have your routine and they're, they have theirs. You guys are really joined kind of at the hip. Like you guys are together a lot. You're spending a lot of time together, but it feels like it's really positive. It feels like you guys just it's like, why wouldn't you want to spend time together? Because you, you like each other that much, you know? And so at first that may cause bumps because like someone's going to have to compromise. Like if you guys are, you know, starting a business together, one person might have to give up their business or might have to quit their job, you know, so you guys can work together all the time. Um, and so that might cause like not a power struggle, but kind of like just a, you know, working out those kinks of like, okay, who's going to give up what and when are we going to come together and how are we going to make this work? But it feels like overall, this is a very positive change. And ultimately you guys kind of seamlessly move through that. And even though you wouldn't have expected to be so joined with this person at first, you absolutely love it. And it brings you a lot of joy and it helps you guys achieve your dreams. Cause I feel like, again, you guys are serving some higher good by being together. And you guys definitely, again, have a lot of sexual attraction to each other with spark coming through. And I also want to mention that this person's so intentional, which I love because they're not just someone that is just kind of going through the motions in life. It feels like when they commit, they commit all the way. They know what they want. They go after it and they want you. So when it comes to your relationship, I love how much effort they are willing to put in when things go bad or when th you need extra support. They're like, oh yeah, I'm committed and I'll do whatever. Like it's not even a question. So we got the magician, two of wands, transformation, AKA the tower card, reverse, 10 of swords and four of swords as our final cards. So this person is a master manifester and that's probably one of the things they're teaching you to do is teaching you that you can have whatever it is you want in life. And I feel like also a major aspect of this relationship is this two of wands energy, planning, discussing things, you guys deciding how to move through your business or how to help raise your kids or just having different discussions that are kind of like planning energy, you know, where you sit down and you hash out like the finances or you hash out you know, okay, so we should send him to this school. Well, this school has this to offer and you guys just love planning together. I don't know, but I feel like you guys love that strategy aspect of sitting down and, um, and talking about all the details and talking about the money and that might stress other people out. They might be like, that is not my idea of a romantic meal is sitting down and talking about like the over under of finances and like tax, uh, tax details or, you know, um, like the pros and cons, but you guys love it. It's like, again, I think one of the most powerful ways to join people together is to give them a shared mission in life. But a lot of times just soulmates or romantic partners, it doesn't necessarily mean it's like a bad relationship, but they just have different goals, right? Or different life purposes. And they're aligned to serve, you know, maybe certain purposes together, but most of their life is going to also be focused on their personal missions. So I think that it's really cool that you guys actually have some kind of multiple shared missions. And this these shared missions take up a lot of your mental effort, take up a lot of your time and your work um, your work routine and everything. And so, um, you guys might not even get that much sleep because I feel like with the four of swords reverse, you guys are working a lot on different projects, but I feel like you guys, you know, you move through any difficulties that you have, you might find your life a little bit shaken up by this person because I feel like they just do that naturally. But I feel like you learn to love it. You learn to flow with it. This person's very like spiritually aware of like different spiritual truths. Like I feel like they're not afraid of any tower moments themselves. They're like, bring on the tower moments because they know it's going to benefit them. And again, that fearless quality they have it's very infectious to you as well. Let's get some Astrodice to end this reading and find out the astrology elements that are going to play a role with Pile Three's person. So we got the sun, we got the third house, and we got Aries. So not surprised, we got a fire sign and we got the sun as well, which relates to Leo. And then we got the third house, which relates to Gemini and communication. So yeah, like I said, your conversation is going to be on point. Your communication is going to be really amazing and really great between you guys. I feel like you guys are always going to have stuff to talk about, never going to have some dry, boring 
boring conversation and run out of topics. Um, and then super strong fire energy. So what I love about fire is it's just so bold. And I feel like Aries and Leo, you know, Aries especially is so unafraid. It's ruled by Mars and it's really unafraid to just rush into battle and just to go for what they want, you know. And Leo is kind of similar. Leo is never going to be that person that's like, oh, I should have want that. I don't know. I shouldn't be the star. Let me, let me step back and let me give this person the spotlight. No, Leo always knows its worth. And I think that's something that this person teaches you. This is something this person knows themselves and they very well could be a Leo or an Aries with those signs coming in because we've had so much fire energy here. Um, so it feels like when they come in for you guys, they're also helping to teach you about your worth and the way they carry themselves with such I want to say importance, but not in a bad way, because I think sometimes people think when you say, oh, this person thinks they're important, that you're saying like they're an egomaniac, but it's not true. Like, I mean, you can think of yourself as being awesome and it's not a bad thing. I don't know why sometimes in our culture we get triggered by like Leo energy of valuing yourself, but it feels really positive that this person knows that they have an important purpose. They're leaning into it the way we all should, and they're helping really infect you with that same attitude, that same confidence in a good way, in a positive way. You are becoming more proud of yourself, more brave and more, you know, excited about the beauty of this world through your relationship with them. So what a beautiful reading, you guys. This was a really interesting energy and yeah, I want to know what business you guys start because this seems like a power couple for sure. So let me know if it resonates. I'm very curious about this pile. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and also make sure to give it a big thumbs up as well. And if you guys want to check out more of my readings, you can check out my Patreon page. A link is in my bio for that. And you can also even book a reading with me. Currently, I'm doing that. So if you guys want to, head over to my booking page and I will be back soon for another reading here. So make sure you're subscribed. Sending you guys so much love and light. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye. Hey, Pile 4. So if you guys picked this lemon donut, this is going to be your reading. I absolutely love these tiny little details on it. This tiny little mini donut and mini ice cream cone. I could imagine a little mouse eating that or maybe a dollhouse doll. It's just so adorably cute. And then there's also these little details of the sprinkles which are shaped like snowflakes, perfect for winter. And I'm sure this is probably lemon flavored, which is one of my favorite dessert flavors. So I'm sure it's so good and so tasty, perfect for a Valentine's breakfast. But let's get into your tarot guys. We got two of pentacles, we got the emperor, we got three of swords, Reverse, Ten of Wands Reverse, the King of Pentacles, and finally the Six of Swords. So I feel like first of all, obviously your person is probably fairly powerful with the Emperor and the King of Pentacles coming in. And honestly, also with the Two of Pentacles, you can see there's a little family or two little kids on that. I feel like you guys might be starting a family, having kids together. And you know, that might be something that plays a role right away because it feels like your person is coming in with quite a bit of financial stability so you might not have to go through that period in the relationship where it's like figuring out how do we pay for this and who's going to pay for what and how are we going to distribute this it feels like this person comes in with a lot of finances at their disposal they might not they might even have people a little bit financially dependent on them where they're paying people salary or people kind of rely on them and look up to them for some finances or something like that. I feel like there's also this theme where you guys might be a little bit resistant to this with the 10 of wands reversed. Um, it could be that like, you're like, I got this. I don't want you to take over it. And you, you might even try to take on too much. Like, no, we don't need to hire a nanny. I don't believe in that. Like I've got this myself. And you might be a little bit resistant when this person does come in with so much money. Maybe that makes you insecure or maybe you feel the need to prove like, I'm not with you for your money. So you're like, no, 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 I'm going to keep working or I'm going to keep um, handling this stuff myself. And there's a little bit of that learning curve where you might be feeling really overwhelmed overwhelmed. You might have a lot on your plate that you could give up because that's what one of the things 10 of wands reverse can talk about is someone who 
is continuing to carry these heavy burdens and deal with a lot of stuff, almost to the point of it being unmanageable, even though they really have no reason to. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, maybe there's a time in the relationship where, like I said, you're trying to manage the kids on your own when you could perfectly afford to hire a nanny or you're trying to maybe keep your job on the side, even though you don't really financially need to and you're really drained by your job and it's not really doing anything for you emotionally. And then maybe there comes a point where you're like, you know what? I can actually let this go. I can let this person handle it. They do have enough money. And even if it wasn't my goal was to give up my career or to, um, you know, change my responsibilities and like pay for people to clean my house or pay for people to do the laundry for me, maybe that's what I can do. And maybe I will um, like let this emperor take over some of the responsibility and take things off my plate because I feel like this person feels like they really want to provide for you really wants to take care of you and help you with things and I do think there's an energy of you guys almost leaving behind past heartbreak or, or maybe like past bad habits like again you might have been too independent and it might be something where they're like no no I got this and you're not about that life at first and you're kind of like excuse me no I didn't sign up for this I got this and I'm gonna manage things and I'm gonna handle them and then there comes a point where you're like let me open up to this person fully and let them take over uh, because I feel like that's what they would want to do so I want to get some music for you guys because we are getting some music readings for these cards and finding out what songs are going to set the energy for your relationship so let's see what spirit has to say we got yummy by Justin Bieber <laughs> Okay, not the most romantic song. God Only Knows, The Beach Boys. That is a very romantic song. Probably the most romantic in my opinion. Moi Je Joue by Bridget Bardot. Infinite Arms, Band of Horses. Very romantic. Call It What You Want by Taylor Swift. Okay. And Underneath It All by No Doubt. Let me get one more. Okay, so this is the vibe for you guys. Honey and I by Haim. So... Yeah, I think Call It What You Want is really sticking out to me because I feel like that song, you know, that's all about like, you can say whatever you want about this relationship and maybe there is this fear of judgment. Maybe this is where you guys are in 10 of wands at first. Maybe you have a lot of negative associations with like, not wanting to be a gold digger, which I hate that phrase anyway, because I feel like sometimes it gets applied to situations where like, I bought that person a $10 drink and it's like, who would dig for gold for a $10 drink? I mean, pretty much everyone has something better to do for $10, right? Than, than just like go out of their way for a $10 drink. But maybe I'm crazy, but that's just how I feel about it. But I think sometimes people are really judgmental when there's someone who makes more in a relationship than the other and one person is financially responsible. I think a lot of this gets directed towards feminine energies, unsurprisingly, because we kind of live in a misogynistic culture. Um, so it's like a lot of judgment thrown towards like stay-at-home moms or something like that, when the reality is they're doing a lot of labor, they're doing a lot of work, and sometimes that's just the dynamic, right? So I think that maybe you guys have some, you know, fears of people judging you, which I think makes sense because we have a lot of weird judgments we put on, especially women in our culture and all kinds of people in our culture especially when there's money at play and maybe you're like I don't want people to see me that way I don't want people to think I'm with them for money so I'm gonna keep working at my job even though I'm completely exhausted and even though they want me to leave my job and they're happy to pay for stuff I'm gonna keep working myself to the bone and waking up at 6 a.m. every morning and staying at my job till 9 p.m. and like I barely have the energy to move you know, a muscle in my body, but I'm going to keep doing this because I need to prove to everyone. And I feel like maybe you guys reach a point where you're like, call it whatever you want. Call me a gold digger, call me whatever, but I'm happy with this person. I'm in love. I feel very safe with them. I feel very comfortable. I love my life and I don't really care what you have to say about it. So you guys move to a point where you're not really concerned with what other people have to say, even though that was kind of a major factor for you guys at first and maybe some of you guys might have in the past dated people who invalidated you with the three of swords that can indicate like 
past heartbreak with it um, being reversed like that. Um, maybe you dated someone that made you feel like bad for asking things from them. Maybe you dated someone where when you were like, hey, by the way, when you're going to the store, can you make sure like I'm craving chocolate? Can you grab me a chocolate bar? And they would flip out on you and be like, what do you think I am? I'm not your... I'm not your waiter or like, you know, what are you going to pay me back for that $3 bar that I bought you? Like crazy stuff like that. I don't know, but I feel like you guys developed some idea along the way that you have to be fully independent and you can never rely on anyone when in fact, a big part of relationships is relying on the other person in different ways. And especially with the feminine, you know, um, coming into a feminine energy involves receiving a little bit and um, being open to receiving. And I think sometimes, especially, you know, being modern day women and stuff, we can have a lot of random stuff put on us of like, we're supposed to be this, but we're supposed to be that. And sometimes it can be hard to feel comfortable accepting and understanding that like, you know, that's a beautiful part of a relationship when someone wants to help you out or, you know, help you with something you need. And also the masculine can learn to re understand to receive from the feminine, you know, um, the feminine's love, the feminine's emotional support. So I feel like for you guys, this is about learning like okay I'm gonna receive and of course if you're taking this and you're a masculine you could also be in the emperor role and this is gonna be the dynamic of um of you know the relationship where this is a woman that maybe really is just at first kind of pushing you away and standoffish and at, and then she's like you know what I actually love this thank you I'm so grateful and there's a transition because I definitely see a transition where at first there's a lot of independence and there's a lot of kind of like no 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 and then it moves into like very receptive with the six of swords there is a moment of I, I need to leave this in the past why am I in this dysfunctional energy and I feel like um there becomes a really great deep love and you know underneath it all by no doubt is also coming to mind in that song I think she says you know underneath it all she's talking about like the kind of public persona she has and the public persona of like her partner which was Gavin Rossdale at the time um and how you know they were perceived by different people but like underneath everything is this deep love and that's the thing is like people can think whatever they want but it feels like you guys have this very solid foundation that when you guys are together that kind of like nothing else matters you know um and there's just a real like peace you guys have together so anyway let's get into more of the cards but these are the songs you guys can look up if you want to vie with the energy of your person so you can just jot some of these down if you want. So we got the Hungry Ghost, Obsession, Scarcity, Consciousness, Attachment, the Diamond Dreamer, Material Wealth, True Prosperity, and the Shadow Queen, Inquiring Knowledge, Insecurity, Manipulation. I love that I just threw these out and they came out like perfectly. I don't know. That's funny to me. Like I feel like you guys, honestly, I'm getting a lot of you guys are going to have a very on point home, like a very well decorated aesthetic home or something like that because it feels like maybe with this person also maybe they can afford to like really give you a big a lot of money for clothes or something but I don't know I feel like you guys are just going to be aesthetics on point like looking good in a beautiful space a beautiful attire or something like that um I don't know I just feel like it's funny that it just fell into place so perfectly um so I feel like your person might be a little bit obsessed with you. Like, again, this is maybe where at first there's this vibe of you putting up a little bit of walls with them and them kind of being like, no, I'm not going away. You can depend on me. I do want to give to you. And at first you're a little scared. Maybe again, this is from this past heartbreak. At first you're like, I don't know about this. I don't know about, you know, you helping me out with this. Like, I'm, I'm just, you're used to doing things, a lot of things on your own. And I feel like there's a lot of like mistrust or kind of like just not wanting to fall into this role. And then I feel like you realize that that's very much been kind of in your head, like things you're projecting, like you're thinking like, oh, if I give this person this, you know, like if they give me this money, they have power over me, but that's not what your person is necessarily after. Like they just know they have the money, they have the wealth, they have a lot of money and they're happy to give to you. They're happy to provide for you. And it makes them happy to see you, you know, 
like face filled with joy, lit up with happiness and excited about whatever they've given you, that brings them a lot of joy. So there may be insecurity when you come into the beginning of the relationship. And for some of you guys, maybe this is someone that like, you know, maybe they're like, okay, cool. Like I finally have this person cause they're, you know, I, I bought them the car. So now like they kind of have to stay with me. Maybe there's a bit of a dynamic with that, but I feel like for most of you, this is a very sweet relationship. And this person just has worked really hard for their money and they're more than happy to share it with you. You know, they're more than happy to give to you. And again, keep in mind again, for some of you guys, this could be flipped, especially if you're a masculine, you could be in the masculine role where you worked really hard for your money and you're happy to give it to your partner or something like that. If, if she's a feminine, you know, and, um, so it feels that there's a lot of giving energy going on and there's a lot of the one partner kind of not knowing what to do about it. Um, but this is just a major dynamic in your relationship. I feel like you guys might have a lot of luxury around you. You might travel, you might go to really high end restaurants, stuff like that. So we got moon energy, magical gateway, purity, and inspiration. So with moon energy, you know, that can relate to cancer, which is the mother of the Zodiac. And I really do feel like some of you guys are going to be mothers, or if you don't want that, you know, of course it's totally your option and it's a general reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If you're like, no, I don't want kids, then, you know, of course, you're not going to be forced into it, I don't think, um, by spirit or anything. So, but just maybe go on birth control or something. I don't know, because I feel like there is maybe for a lot of you guys, you're going to be creating a family with this person. And that's going to be a major part of your life is like um, looking after the kids, running around after them, taking care of them. Um, you know, they bring a lot of joy into your life. And I feel like that's a major focus for both you and your person is like, oh, like Donnie's doing really well in school today. Or like, you know, Sarah got straight A's or, um, you know, uh, we need to talk to the teacher about Amelia, about how well she's doing. Like, I don't know. It just feels like you guys spend a lot of time. And, you know, this is a great thing about money is that when you have a lot of money, you can afford to put your kids wherever you want. You can afford to put them in the best preschool or to, you know, if they are really interested in like a certain culture, you can pay to visit that country or something crazy over the top like that, or put them in a summer camp because they love, you know, tennis and you can put them in tennis camp or something. Like, I feel like you are going to be able to give a lot to your kids and really focus on them. And this is maybe where that 10 of wands moment happens. Maybe at first you're trying to keep working or work outside the house and balance, um, taking care of them. And I'm totally not opposed to that. I think that, you know, for so many people, women, especially that can be really empowering to have that other income. So I'm not opposed to that at all. I'm not saying one is better than the other, but I just think it can be a lot of work. And for a lot of you guys, maybe there comes a time when you step through this magical gateway and you're like, you know what, I'm just going to be a full stay at home mom, or I'm just going to give a lot more of my attention to my kids because I really feel like that's going to be a major aspect of your life. And I feel like it gives you a lot of inspiration and you know I think the purity of children is something that can be so rejuvenating to us because just living in this world we can all get kind of jaded by everything going on and all the pain of like everything happening in this world and I think being around the pure beautiful innocent energy of children it's just so lovely to um you know to be surrounded by their energy and see the the world through their beautiful like bright, open, wide-eyed eyes, you know, where everything is new and cool to them. So this is just a major aspect of your life that I'm picking up on. Let me get some cards to find out more about the traits and characteristics this person is going to have. So we got well-educated, smells good. Oh, that's too many. Okay, so I'm definitely not surprised they're well-educated because they do have a lot of money. Okay, we got alternative. Oh, what the heck okay we're not taking that many okay we got a good gift giver that one just insisted to fall out and i'm not surprised because they do have a lot of money smart yep they're very smart they're educated i think and smart good with kids okay yeah because like kids are coming through preppy Okay, so maybe they kind of have that kind of way of dressing that's like very kind of buttoned up, maybe polo shirts and button downs and like corduroys and khakis and tweed jackets from different parts of the country or world. And we got seductive, okay, and final, 
gets jealous easily. Okay, I'm not surprised on that. I'm just going to pull one more. Funny. Okay. I don't think they're like laugh a minute type of person, but they do feel like, I guess they would have like a dry sense of humor and can kind of make you guys laugh when they want to. Um, but yeah, I feel like this person is kind of traditionalist. So I'm not surprised we got preppy. Like I feel like they would probably be that person that does wear suits or tweed or button downs or something like that. Um, or they might have like a minimalist style, but it seems like they're kind of clean cut. Someone that would be more of that like well-dressed type person that, you know, maybe puts on cologne or perfume or really, um, you know, dresses in kind of a more upscale way, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, they might have like, I don't know, gone to boarding school or just be well educated, have gone to a nice school. Um, I feel like they're highly intelligent no matter what, no matter how they made their money. And with alternative coming through, I'm actually getting for a lot of you guys, again, there's this switch in your mind from like what you used to think life had to be to a different alternative of like, oh, it could be like this, but we kind of covered that, so I'm not going to go over it again. Um, but yeah, I, I do think maybe they get jealous easily, not in a nasty way, but just because they're so into you, you know? And this is maybe where some of them like enjoy the fact that they do have a little bit more money than you because it's like okay like they can't they're not just gonna dump me for like a random person because I'm bringing so much into their life and they do give you really good gifts they're really nice I do feel like you know I know sometimes people hate to hear the word jealousy but I think jealousy isn't always bad obviously if someone's obsessively jealous that's crazy and totally not cool but sometimes when someone's jealous it shows it just like they have some skin in the game you know they're really invested in this they they've invested a lot and they care very much about you know who you're with what you're feeling and all of that so I feel like this is the kind of person that would probably make a really good impression on most parents if they're traditional or whatever, because they're not going to show up probably with like, you know, a bunch of piercings or like tattoos covering their whole body or I mean, maybe, but I just feel like they're someone that, you know, probably for most of you guys is more traditional, probably someone who is, you know, um, I'm kind of like down to earth or not crazy, not a crazy dresser. And maybe they like it when you dress up, but they are more conservative or something like that. So let's get more cards. So we got friendship, talents, strength, and inspiration again. So inspiration coming through twice. I actually feel like you're a big inspiration for your person that they, you know, you really motivate them. It's almost like they dreamed about being with someone like you for a really long time. They kind of hoped and dreamed about being someone as physically attractive and with your energy, with your personality. So when you come into their life, this is why they're very quick about knowing what they want. You know, they're not like wishy-washy or being like, well, I kind of like them, but I don't know. Well, I could see this. Well, the thing is they, I like that they do this, but I hate that. They're just very like decisive. They know what they want. They know what they like, and it's definitely you. And so I think that you're kind of a little bit of a muse for them, even though they don't seem like an artistic temperament. I mean, maybe some of them might be, but they seem more business oriented, but I still feel like you're an inspiration for them where maybe they're like tired, but then they think of you, they think of like, you know, you having, um, being waiting for them at home and they're like, let me work that extra additional time because I really want to impress them or I can't wait to buy them that vacation. So I'm just going to put in extra work. And so it really fuels them. It fuels their, um, work and it fuels the energy that they need to put in. It gives them a lot of strength. It's a main motivator. And I think what's interesting is like on the strength card, I never really fully noticed it before, but it's, you would expect the strength card to show, I guess, I mean, to show like a, a ripped dude, you know what I mean? Who's just like, um, I mean, even though that's not how it looks on the tarot, but like, I'm just saying, like if you were going to make, cause these cards aren't super related to like the tarot. So you'd expect like, it to be like an Arnold Schwarzenegger looking type, but you know, it's just a beautiful woman. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, they find you very beautiful. They find you very attractive. And so it's like, you know how in like World War II and stuff or in different wars, the soldiers would carry pictures of their um, the wife or their girlfriend that they have back home and it would fuel them to like go run into battle. And that was their motivator. And that's kind of what you are. Like they just 
think you're very beautiful. I feel like a lot of you guys are physically quite beautiful in the face. I'm seeing someone with like a beautiful little nose and just a pretty face. I don't know. I think a lot of you guys are quite pretty. So, um, so I think that they just feel very fueled by you and being with you is just something that really drives them. Something about your hair as well is very, very pretty. Um, so yeah, I think that, um, you know, honestly, for some of you guys, I feel like this relationship might start out as a friendship or you might not be open to dating them as much. Again, there's this break that happens where at first you're very closed off to this energy, very independent, maybe because of past heartbreak. Maybe you're like, oh, I would never date someone like, you know, them. Maybe they're, I don't know, a little bit older than you or maybe not like crazy older, but maybe like even just a few years and you're like, no, I just don't date older. I just date my age or younger or whatever. Or maybe they, um, you know, have, like just you're just not wanting to date someone who has a lot of money and you're like oh they you know they're just I'm not interested in that I'm not a gold digger I, I know he has a lot of money he has his own business but I'm just not feeling that like there's some part of you that's like resistant in some part of the relationship it might be in the relationship or it might be at the beginning and then it feels like it moves to a point where you're like I really like this person and they treat me really well and they're so respectful and so loving and so nice and it you kind of just notice that they make your life better since they came into it like they are always looking out for your well-being they are always trying to figure out like how do I take care of this person? What would they want? Can I do this for them? Would they need that? How would they feel if I did this? I think this would make them smile. I'm going to do that. So they're always trying to figure out ways to life, make your life better. And I feel like because of that, eventually you're like, huh, I want to date this person or I want to let them, even if you did date them, you're like, I'm going to let them more into my life. I'm not going to just be so insistent on like, no, you can't help me with this. And no, I don't need help with that. And no, I can handle this on my own. You, you make room for them. Um, I th think with talent, you might have more time to actually work on like a side business or a side hustle, or maybe some of your interests. Maybe they don't even make any money because you don't really have to worry about money that much. Maybe you just love to paint and now you have all this time in your day to paint or to write or to to um, spend spend time doing the things you like to do. Um, maybe it's just like even working out or something, but there's like more time in your day to spend on different talents. So let's get some romance oracles. So we got unrequited love reverse. It is safe for you to love, true love, chemistry, and flirts. Aw, so you guys have a lot of chemistry and flirting. And I actually, I just knew that true love card was going to come out. I just literally was like, it's going to come out and I, I felt it so strong right before it popped out. And I do think this is a really intense love. It's almost like I'm hearing once this person has you, they're never going to let go. Not in a creepy way, but just like they're going to do everything they need to do to be on point. Because keep in mind, you know, when you figure out the energy of like Pentacles energy, that's all about working hard to maintain something. And a lot of times someone that is good at Pentacles energy in particular is going to be good at working hard in a relationship and maintaining the relationship, right? I mean, you can be a really good King of Wands, but you might, that's not the same energy of like slow and steady that's required for a relationship. It may be really good for flirting and for starting something new and, you know, getting someone into bed, but making that relationship work day in, day out, that's in my opinion, very pinnacle energy of, you know, taking so, slow steps one at a time. And I feel this person has built their business because of that. You know, they, they know what it's like to just work on something and just, put energy into it day after day and just gradually improve and just never give up. And so it's like when it comes to you, they're willing to apply that energy. They're willing to just work hard and just, I feel like at first they might even think that like you don't like them back. It may feel like an unrequited love situation. It may feel like you're not as into them as they're into you, but they don't really care. They're like, Okay, well, as long as I get them in the end, which is so pinnacle Capricorn type energy, because they are just that person that's going to be undeterred by someone who, by any situation where like, oh, it's not really working out right now. They're like, okay. And once I work at it every day, it will. And so that's all that matters. And they're just totally 
not someone that because I think sometimes people rush and need to see immediate results and this person is very slow and steady so with it is safe for you to love again this energy that at first you're going to be a little hesitant maybe from past heartbreak and then you move into trusting them and realizing how special it is and you guys will have a lot of chemistry I feel like the attraction the bedroom life you guys have will be really great even for a long time like for life like it will never give up because you guys really like and enjoy each other it's a friendship first you know what I mean so you guys really actually enjoy spending time with each other it's not something where you're like oh gotta hang out with the ball and chain like you you like each other so we got inner peace and the garden so I feel like with inner peace you know you can see in this card that she's reading she's a, or she's writing in a journal that says I am enough she's also eating some uh, sandwich and some milk and just dreaming and thinking and I think you guys are gonna have a lot of time to work on your interests work on things that you just enjoy so you know maybe again once you give up your job or something you'll have a lot of free time to like again I'm seeing for some of you guys there's something with like home or architecture or interior design where maybe you'll be like I have time to redo the whole kitchen and what kind of a tile do I like I think I want to do it in this as aesthetic and I feel like you'll really be able to find exactly what you like and have all this time and mental effort and or mental space mental energy to direct towards your interests and your self-growth and I think sometimes that's what you see with a lot of people who have a lot of wealth is like they just have that kind of free time that a lot of people don't to like focus on their skincare or focus on um, what makes them happy focus on art that they enjoy you know that kind of a thing and I feel that this is something that really improves your life maybe focusing on cooking and stuff but you don't have to cook if you don't want to not with you know not with your budget you can just definitely afford to get takeout every single night but you might be cooking anyway you might enjoy it um, there's a lot of self-care going on with you there's a lot of like taking care of yourself and I feel like your person likes that too because again they like to see you in your high vibe energy they like to see you feeling good and looking good and uh, feeling confident this person first and foremost really loves to take care of you and we see that with the garden which talks about basically the masculine taking care of the feminine and in this situation the garden is the feminine energy and the garden is the one being tended and the masculine energy is the gardener so the feminine is able to really bloom and come into her highest version of herself because she has a masculine kind of really looking out for her taking care of taking care of her and really kind of I don't want to say catering but kind of like really trying to figure out the best ways to make her kind of come into bloom you can see that like a garden like this you know it just has so many beautiful flowers and trees and things in blossom and things just um just just growing and just looking gorgeous and that could only happen right when there is a gardener running around and watering everything and taking care of everything and like you know running a garden is kind of intense my grandmother had a really huge garden and you know it's like I think if you don't maintain it or you don't take good care of it things just don't run you have to water things at the right times you have to like water different plants in different amounts and it's just like you know but I feel like this person really likes looking after you they really like seeing you in bloom and they're happy to do whatever it takes to do that so this is a very kind of masculine feminine dynamic where they are happy to look after you happy to see you glowed up and wanting you to be um, looking after yourself taking care of yourself and really just wanting to do whatever to support that so let's get some cards for you guys as well messages from your uh, future spouse Mes messages from pile four's future spouse life with you is so much fun I want to protect you what does this say being with you it feels fresh and new I want you all to myself okay like I said a little possessive I want to travel the world with you Wow oh, let's get some from here I can't wait to start a family with you yep like I said, when they come into it, they're going to just know exactly what they want. And we got, oh, that was a lot, but my family loves you. We've spent past lifetimes together. 
I can't help but be jealous at the thought of you with someone else. They're definitely a little bit jealous, like I mentioned. They are a little jealous, but you know, I think sometimes that can be sweet. It just is, you know, sometimes when you really love something so much, you just want it kind of all to yourself. So don't think of it as like a bad thing. I just think that they they really care about you, you know, they really like you. And again, I feel like they're invigorated by you. They're inspired by you. Being with you feels fresh and new. No one gets me the way you do. You guys might have spent past lifetimes together and maybe they took care of you in past lifetimes and that's one of their sole purposes, you know, or maybe vice versa and now it's flipped or something. But I, I think they are very protective of you. They want to make your life a lot better. And like I said, when you come into their life, it's like they, they're not, it's not their first rodeo. They've been trying to manifest and dream of someone like you. So I feel like they want to start a family fast. They want things to move along quick. They're not confused. They're not, you know, kind of leaving you on red and it's not like, Oh God, how do they feel about me? I'm not sure. It's like they are coming correct, which we love to see. They know what they want and it's you, you know? So you guys might be traveling a lot. You guys might be exploring a lot. It feels like, again, a very high-end lifestyle with a lot of exciting, glamorous things. So let's get some more cards. Home, magical shape, magical map shifter, flying, and spirit of place. So yeah, with spirit of place, Oh, spirit of place and flying, I get a ton of and magical map shifter travel energy. And I get that this person and you might even move to different places. You might switch homes. You might suddenly decide to move to London or if you're in London, maybe Beijing or, you know, um, I don't know, maybe Thailand or just somewhere in the US or like, it just seems like you guys might be you know, you have that luxury of kind of being like, I feel like moving here. I want to move there. I want to see this place. And you can actually financially afford it. And you can afford to like live in a nice place in that area. Like you're not just going to have to, you know, get a horrible little tiny apartment and, you know, all your kids are like living in the same room and you're just like holed up inside. It feels like you're able to provide for a nice lifestyle for yourself. And so I feel like you guys might be traveling a lot, maybe flying on planes a lot, or just moving to different places. And either way, you would have a nice home. And I keep getting that, but like you guys are going to have the money to have nice interior design or to figure out exactly what kind of design aesthetic you have. And it's going to be a matter of choice, not just utilitarian necessity. Cause I think sometimes, you know, when people are designing their home, they're just like, I just can't afford to like go all out and get exactly what I want but you guys will be able to get exactly what you want exactly the vibe that you guys want and yeah there's a lot of freedom in your life which I really love that you guys are kind of actively choosing your life and with magical map shifter it's like you get to decide you get to figure out I want to move here I want to go there and because of this money status power this person has it's an option for you um, it's a reality. It's not just a dream. So we got six of cups, three of wands, queen of cups, the emperor again. They're definitely going to be really powerful. And finally, nine of cups. So wow, what beautiful energy. So again, with kid energy, children, they very well might be coming in. So if you don't want that, maybe get that birth control going um, for sure. I feel like, again, you guys are constantly going to be kind of expanding and maybe replanning like oh you know what I know we moved here for these years but I actually kind of like this place so maybe let's move there or let's send Sammy to summer camp here or you know let's move them to this school and you guys have all these finances because of the emperor to be able to pay for it and I feel like the queen of cups on this card to me she just looks like a bougie older woman that like has this like look at this chair and the wallpaper it just looks like she has a beautiful place that she's sitting and she's reading something and just she just looks very relaxed and well taken care of to me like she just looks like yeah she just has had a really good skincare routine for a really long time because she looks like an older woman kind of but she looks like her skin is immaculate so I just think you guys are going to be really well taken care of and looking really good having a level of power and you know the queen of cups is someone that can be in a really great emotional place very emotionally skilled and so is the nine of cups so it's like you're feeling very emotionally happy and fulfilled and beautiful in this energy and this person gives you a lot of satisfaction gives you a lot of joy in your 
life. And yeah, so let's get some astro dice to end the reading and figure out what astrology elements are at play. Okay, so we got Mars, we got Capricorn, not a surprise. And we got the 10th house, also not a surprise and related to Capricorn. So again, emperor energy of, you know, an achiever, um, king of pentacles energy. This is someone that has manifested good money for themselves and their career is a major aspect of, of their life. I think like, I think they have a lot of success. Also the 10th house, um, Midheaven can be, you know, how people publicly perceive us. It can be a level of status in the public eye. And maybe people are aware of you because of your person. Maybe they are someone who has a lot of status because the emperor can be someone who's very much a leader, very much someone that other people are aware of and respect and look up to. So maybe you guys are going to have a public name, maybe even in your local community or something, or I'm seeing, you know, those things in magazines of like, maybe someone you've never heard of, but it's like some glamorous party and it'll be like, you know, Simon Williams and his wife or Simon Williams, the famous lawyer and his wife. And like, they're not actually famous to like anyone else, but within the community of like, I guess, lawyers or their scene, they're like a big deal. You know what I mean? Cause they're really successful. So I feel like, yeah, this, you might have some status because of this relationship and you might have to be aware of that. Be, you know, sometimes when you have status, it's like everyone's checking for you. You can't be rolling up to the carpool to pick up the kids looking like crazy, just in like a pair of sweatpants and, you know, smudged mascara that you never washed off. You have to be like hair done on point. So again, with this self-care aspect coming through and then Mars, Mars is all about achievement. It is related to Aries as well, but, um, Mars is really about achievement and it's the ruler of war and, um, about going after what you want. And I feel like your person does that. You can see this dude just looks like he just goes after what he wants. He doesn't look like he'd be like meek and coming up to things and being like, hi, I think I, could you, would you mind, um, taking a moment to speak? Like, you just feel like he would come in, you know, with a masculine energy going after what he wants and being like, hi, I want to speak to you today about this and confident. And so, you know, I feel like that's Mars energy. Your person just is so emperor-y. Like they just are coming through with knowing what they want, being unafraid to go after it. And what they want is really you. And I feel like, again, I mentioned it earlier, they, they go after what they want and they've applied that to their money and career and now they're applying it to you and they really know how to make things happen and that's what i love is they're just not afraid to um to go after it and so they're coming through with a very bold determined energy and i just love to see that um so yeah what a beautiful energy you guys so please let me know if it resonated in the comments i love hearing from you guys love hearing your thoughts and reactions and everything and also make sure to give it a big thumbs up if it resonated and if you guys want to check out my patreon i post additional readings over there so you can always check that out if you want more readings from me and i'm also for right now taking some private booking. So if you want to check that out, you can click the link in my bio and yeah, so I'll be back soon for another reading. Make sure you're subscribed over here if you want to see that. And I will see you guys next time. Sending you guys so much love and light. Have an amazing day guys. Bye.